one point and he was cd was just like no no no, i don't want to hear it yeah some i forgot who he was know. playing against yeah he was just some like some people feel they, they they rather learn how to beat shit on their own than have other people tell them yeah because then or make them second mind, guess what they think is right but yeah, exactly. see, if someone has some advice for me like in between matches and they let me know i'll step out for a second you could come talk to me but when i'm playing it's a problem because then I get distracted. There was this one, there's this one kid at the uh, the CEO monthlies that go on over here. Um, forgot his name. Snow Zero, buddy is literally having a conversation with me while I'm trying to play a tournament. <laughs> this shit does not work. Dude, headphones. You need to get some, dude. I, I, I they, have they're lifesaver. Like, I sit they're there life like I'm literally playing. You know, it's literally, you know, halfway through the first match. You know, one round each. And he just comes, he taps me on the shoulder no, in the middle of the third round. B &B, bro. <laughs> no, not just that. <laughs> in the middle of the third round, he taps me on the shoulder. He's like, no, Nightwolf? I'm like... <laughs> Dude, you're like in the middle of a fucking intense match with like corner I'm combo. I'm like playing right now. I, it, it's just, it's ridiculous. So I just, I've come to the conclusion. I respect all the advice that people want to give me. I greatly appreciate it because I know I deeply fuck up a, d a good amount of the time. But I'm getting fucking headphones, Dude, man. I'm telling you, the best way to focus in tournament is to have your hood down and headphones on. It's like Yo, that shit's coming to NEC. Bring, it's bring like your hoodies, man. Back. All about the hoodie. <laughs> it's gonna, I'm going to get tunnel vision. I'm going to get the it's headphones. Exactly. I'm the, gonna only get thing, the, oh, the only thing you see when you have the hood down is the fucking TV in front of you. You don't see the person standing yeah. next to you. You don't see the crowd behind you. All you see is the fucking TV in front of you, and you have your headphones in, and you're set. Uh, Nothing can bother you. You can get the thing that the horse race, the horses use in horse races. Was that? Uh, like they doesn't allow them to see on the side. A whip. <laughs> so oh, yeah. that's that's pretty well, much. Well, you should know what I'm talking about. You're old enough. Why? What the hell? I, I'm old enough. What the hell does that have to do with horses? I don't know. Yeah. Horse racing has been a long, around for a long time. You yeah, I know. know. You know, growing up, growing up and hanging out in the city, there's so many horses I used to hang out with. You live in Long Island. They have Belmont Racetrack out there. I know. What am I fucking two foot two fucking jockey now? Dude, we don't. We're not horse <laughs> not people. I know. Not you either. know what? Ho hold, hold on, guys. I gotta go out to my potato farm and pick some potatoes quick. <laughs> horses eat potatoes. I don't know. Horses eat shit. <laughs> Actually, I saw a video where, where a horse was eating pussy. Oh, Dude, why are we talking about horses? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but no, I mean, you know, you know, and I'm not, you know, and I'm not trying to pick on him. I just I just think, you know, in matches like that, it's almost as rude as that guy when you're in a tournament and you're in the middle of your match and he played before you and left his converter and you're in the middle of the match, he's just jumping over to you, pull his converter out, and you're like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, that that shit wouldn't fly with me at all. That'd be a problem because uh, you. Especially like if if you fucking left it, you leave it there until the end of the match. I'm sure whatever you need to do can wait until the match is over. Until the first match or the entire set is over. Just give them some time so you don't reach across and just grab it. And don't carry on a conversation when someone's playing. Man, yeah. the seating and brackets are so bad in MLG. I don't the even want to talk thinking? about that, man. I'm what, what are they still thinking? mad. I look at this shit. Madsen, bye. Gross, bye. Big Dude, D, pick of the heart. And what the PL. fuck? They need that shit. Hey, do you guys mind if I real quickly for like five minutes talk about what I came to talk about? Because I can't be on all night. You're not, yeah, you're you're not coming out of the closet or something, are you? No. All right. You're staying in there? It's, uh, well, I'm going to make it a little personal first, and then uh, you'll, you'll see. So basically, it's a... Uh, well, I'm gonna address Big D. I just want to apologize because I don't have anything. Okay, it's about the whole donation thing that's going on. How everybody's okay. like looking for donations. And the thing is, I you know I, I had to really think about this because you know everybody's trying to do a good thing by trying to help players get out there. You know, to like NEC or whatever Ooh. tournament. Totally understandable, and I do support it. But the thing that little bothers me just a little bit is you know with Hurricane Sandy happening and everything. I mean, I really think that maybe people should at least donate half the money they're willing to donate to the players, at least to the relief efforts over here, because it's actually pretty fucked up over here. And I just feel that people Wouldn't maybe people don't... doing that already, though? Yeah, and it's still not enough. I mean, you're talking Staten Island alone, over 80 homes have been destroyed. 80? It was they, more than that. Aren't, aren't people, yeah. I mean, aren't people donating already? That's what, I, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, people are donating. 
but it's not i mean it's it's been a, a fail all the way around i mean to be honest there ain't no different between katrina down in new orleans and how bad people got well, hit here i'm not well the thing is look i'm not gonna even ask people to donate for sandy i'm i'm like, you'll, you'll see what i'm getting to and basically like you know and i i'm mentioning this also because people need to realize it is really it's still fucked up over here even in Queens, you know, the Rockaways, how many houses burnt down? 100, 100 houses uh, in a square yeah. block, and just yeah. square around each other, 100 burnt yeah. down. That's it's just ridiculous. But um, my thing is, I, I'm not going to name any names because, and I know you guys know already. Well, we don't. So name your names. No, you guys, yeah. one of the VSM guys lost everything in this storm. Who? I mean, I don't, James, don't you know? Uh, Scoot. There you go. Scoot it's McGee. There, Scoot McGee lost everything he owns. He lost everything he owns. Okay, uh, I that, didn't that, know that. that. I'm going to stop you right there. That's shit you need to be talking about. You don't need to be saying, you know, oh, I don't want to mention any names. People need to know about that. No, well, if no one is, knows about it, then they can't, you know, help him out. I, I put this up this donation. Well, I, was, I didn't I was, know anyone I was, was actually I was, directly I was gonna, affected. I was going to I was going to leave it as in it was going to be one of the VSM guys that everybody knows. Yeah, I but I understand. I understand what you're trying to do, and I respect that, but... You know, people need to know about that because there, there might be some people that could be able to help. I didn't come here. I feel that it wouldn't have been mentioned. So I am doing something. And, and that's just my thing. It's just kind of like I went on T. I don't go on TYM forums very often. As you guys could tell, I never post or really look at it. But it's, and it started with me seeing your donation thread, actually. And when, I went, and when I went to go find it, I saw that Storms put up a thing. And then I saw, like, the EGP guys are, like, looking. And I'm just thinking, like... You know, us New York guys, we're trying to figure out what we could do to help out Scoop, like donating like stuff we don't use and putting up money for them. And I just thought maybe as a community, we should help them out. Like we should focus. Yeah, but on instead of putting me in relation, you know, it's not no, like it's, I had any no, idea. I said that because I didn't want I didn't want to say this and then people like, oh, man, Felice hating on everybody, trying to help out players. No, because you know, cause you know what the difference, Felice? The difference is um, I'm not you, so I don't give a fuck. You know, guys, you know, I only I caught wind about this about maybe 15 minutes before the show today. I seen a message. Yeah, I and, had no idea. Yeah. And and apparently Scoot lost everything he has. Yeah, uh, I, did he burn? Flood, flood what? Flood. Flooded away. I mean... To the ceiling. Yeah. Everybody... Every, I mean, guys uh, had 13, 13 to 20 feet of water in their house. Okay. Well, I, look. Honestly, I've... There's 10,000 things going on in my life with, with everything. Like, other than with this whole scoot thing and this donation thing. So, you know, Big D, I'm sorry if it came out the wrong way. I mean, I didn't... You know, I've had no time to even really think it through too much about talking about this. You know, so... Sorry if it came out the wrong I mean, way. It's it's not it's, it's just it's nothing I, you're doing. It's just the I was fact gonna say that anything. it's such it's just, awkward. It's no, awkward the, timing. The only reason I mention you, number one, is because you're here. If you weren't here, I wasn't gonna say anything. But I didn't want you to cut in and be like, "Oh, are you talking about me?" And I, I, I mean, who knows what would happen? But I didn't want you to be like, "Wait, wait, wait, you talking about me?" And like, "Why are you hating?" On, like, I didn't want to start it. Yeah, but if I had the slightest clue that. You know, someone was affected by the storm no, but that I'm not trying, much. That's the thing. I, I I'm not trying to take anything. No, I'm I know, just saying I would have never put up a drive yeah, to begin with. I know that. I know that. I'm not calling you out. I'm not. That's what I tried to say in the beginning. I'm not trying to put anybody on blast because what everybody's doing is, is a good thing. You know, it's not like it's a negative thing. And I just wanted to bring to people's attention that there are some other things that should be, you know. I mean, look, we're going to reach out. I mean, to, to, has uh, Storms put anything up? For uh, Scoot at all yet? Or no? I don't even know if he's I, aware of it. Uh, I you know what? I'm going to send him a DM. I'm going to have him put something up front page as well. Well, you know, like, well I got him because we, you know, they sent out a mass text message. I'm pretty sure that's where you saw it. Uh, yeah. James yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But like, because like, you know, and well, Phil sent it out and he said like how he's not telling Scoot about it because, you know, he's probably going to, you know, how most people, how like some people don't want donations or whatever. Like he hasn't really asked us for help. He's like, oh, you know. You know, I'm working through it. He, but he hasn't really asked for help. Where's he kinda... staying right now? I have no idea. I think he's staying with his girl. Probably. But I just want to... I'm, I'm saying, you know, still donate for players, you know, to, to come to NEC. But maybe take some of those funds aside and put some of it for, you know, for Scoot. Or it, even when Phil did his charity stream to raise for cancer. I mean, you know, money does help over here. I just wanted to like, make people aware. That's really it. Sorry I came out the wrong way. I yeah, you should be. Way. Shut up. 
It, was, it didn't come out the wrong way. It's just, you know, you're, you're putting it out, bro like you're putting it out broken. Because I never knew about shit like this, and it makes me feel, it makes me feel I, weird I just, knowing that I didn't think about the storm and who look, could have been affected by that I just, I just, I just that feel first. that the hundreds of dollars donating for players to come to NEC, it would be much better donated in other ways. Because I, I agree. If it's, because, and look, because the reason I didn't, I felt like not saying anything because it sounds like I'm attacking those people, like you. And anybody else who's trying to do it, like I know Crumb was trying to help you out with it, right? He's like the main backing of it. And I, and I don't want to, you know, I have nothing against any of you. It's just, I, it, it just kind of irks me a little bit, you know, that there's so much more important shit going on. And we're all worried about, you know, four or five players making it to a tournament. Because if we get 100 people at NEC and we get the extra five to 105, I don't see it as a big deal. And then people get hit on me for it. I mean, I really don't care. Nobody's gonna, always... nobody's gonna, see, you, you know, yeah, you, you, no, you're getting, into, hate you're getting yeah, into emo mode here. Nobody's point. gonna hate That's on you. But the point is, nobody was aware. Therefore, you know, you're saying, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but Big oh, D oh, didn't no, know. Aware of scoop, but you know what? Regardless, though, I still feel that, you know, with Hurricane Sandy, yeah, people have, just because people have been donating doesn't mean that, like, oh, well, since everybody's donating, I don't have to donate. Because that's basically what you guys, oh, well, everybody's but you donating. Remember, people don't know if, you don't even know if people are donating. Some people are probably donating, just it's not advertised on Tesla Mai or MKU that people are. I know that, but it's not like Hurricane Sandy is just something that you would find out. Like, it's like something big that happened. Yeah, but you got to remember, but people might be donating and you just don't know about it. Because like I said, oh, no. I, 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 I do understand, website, but, you know, but, but you know what? I think if, if people were to tell the truth in this community, I bet you most people have not donated towards Hurricane Sandy. I mean, I mean it's a total guess. You, you might be right. You might be right on that, too. But I am gonna I'm going to take my biased opinion and think that they don't. So that's why I'm just mentioning it. All right. Well, with that said, I'm gonna reach out to, uh, you know, because I know Scoot doesn't check the show out. Well, so. now I'm gonna. Do I'm also gonna donate to Big D now. So donate to me too, I'm, I'm dropping the donation drive now. Now it just doesn't seem right. Fuck that shit, man. That's not okay. Just ask your mom for money. And she ain't giving me shit. <laughs> Tell you pay your back. Hey when Felice, you maybe I'll ask your mom for money. Go ahead. Damn. <laughs> I gotta get some of that money back I gave him. Oh. Yeah, whatever. I mean, my dad makes plenty of money. Well, for her. Not for me. Not for me. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, with that said, I'm gonna reach out to Storm. We're gonna have something more done anonymously. Uh, I know Scoot ain't gonna hear this, so it ain't gonna happen yeah. anytime soon. Um, with that, I have to change the pace just a little bit because you just made me Please deal do. in shit. So <laughs> I'm going to have to put on the new and improved song from... Oh, God. Yeah. How does it have one more dislikes than likes? Saw that shit? <laughs> what do we got here? I don't know. Oh, no. Lube it up and go bug. Be trying for us, nigga. After the pick of the hug, I filled up my thumb. This asshole be farted all out. The top five race face was sitting in the corner crying. Looking at me, beating this meat. Cause ain't nobody wanted that. Never mind. You feel me, nigga? Feel me, nigga? Feel me, nigga? Truckers, nigga. It's an MK truckers. You feel me? Suck Max and Jake. Now if you can't find my mouth, I'll spit it. And pick it up, asshole. Lube it up and go bug. Be trying for us, nigga. After the pick of the hug, I filled up my thumb. This asshole be farted all out. The top five race face was sitting in the corner crying. Looking at me, beating this meat. Cause ain't nobody wanted that. Never mind. You feel me, nigga? Okay, so with that, apparently uh, he's got uh, a new trio. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as let's just uh, reach out to uh, I'm gonna reach out to both MKU and I'm gonna reach out to uh, to Storms. Gertrude is in the chat. Gertrude, well, yeah, well, I'm gonna reach out to them on on the on the after the show. 
and send the messages. But you know, I want to get some donation thing going. I don't, you know, everybody that's in the channel, you know, I don't know. Let's let's call it a code for Scorpion. You know, this way. Uh, yes, I know, homeboy. You got a actually, homeboy Tyson's got a mixtape now that you can uh, you can get, which is twenty of his greatest tracks. Um, but uh, we, that put aside, uh, Gurchap put something out there, a donation drive. Just say it's Scorpion. Everybody in this room knows, you know, Scoot McGee. Um, you want me to give it to Scoot? Uh, the first donation is 50 bucks from Luzi Lou, the, 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 uh, the, the Toasty Boost uh, money I was going to give him. I'm going to send to, uh, to Scoot now. And, you know, guys, just do what you can. I mean, even, believe it or not, if you uh, if you have to do uh, it doesn't have to be money, you know. I mean, money's always the best, but you know the guy's furniture's destroyed, everything's destroyed. So anybody like in the New York area, um, you know, if you got some stuff at least just to help him get back up on his feet, you know, if that's that can be done too. You can hit me up through my email at jamesmk at uh, the on blast show uh, dot com, and I can. Uh, you know, I could set up something where if it's picking up furniture or, you know, I don't care if it's dishes, you know, whatever. I mean, the guy needs everything, you know. So, I mean, it's definitely uh, definitely worth helping him out. Um, and, you know, Big D, I'm not going to, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to tell you not to do the donation either. I mean, you no, know, I'm, I'm just, probably not going to do you know, it. Now. But, you know what, it's, it's a decision that you make, which is very honorable. You know, that's why your ass is OBS. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm glad that, you know, you, 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 I mean, you didn't know, nobody knew. You know, I only found out about it today. I mean, the storm happened, what, a week ago? And he lives 10 minutes from my house, and I didn't know. So, I mean, guys, you know, whatever way you can help, uh, there's going to be on MKU, and it's going to be on Test Your Might within the next hour, something out there. Well, I mean, I don't know about if we have a PayPal set up, but because I recently emptied out my PayPal account, I was going to offer mine. If anybody wanted to donate to it, I would just, you know, make, send, bring them the funds. I myself. mean, we could do that. That would be That's easier, too. I mean, if you cut out of the country, you know I'm going to cut your balls off and put them in your mouth. i got to cut out of the country. Yeah, and, and don't take the money to pay your bills like this other guy did. Wait, who did? Uh, that's another story for another oh. day. It was all over Test Your Might, dude. You didn't read that uh, shit? I, I told you. I just said I don't go on Test Your Might like that. That's my that's my PayPal email if anybody just... Because, as I said, I just emptied it out, so... But... Well, so anyway, you know, I, I, I'm going to change the subject now uh, and go back to Dallas. Yeah, um, Rio's got a little bit of time left here. Yes. Uh, Mr. Rio, so, you know... Uh, what was your experience in playing Gross? Same thing with you, Big D. How was Gross? How was Madsen? Um, you know, what players stood out? What players blew hype and smoke up your ass and wound up not being nothing? Don't all answer at once. I was, waiting, I was waiting for Rio to go. Rio. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll go there. Um... I played Gross a lot this weekend. He he is he is a really good player. I mean, I I really don't know how else to explain it. To be honest, when I saw his match with PL, I I only watched the video a couple of weeks ago because he moved down to Florida. So when he moved down, I checked it out, and it was weird because not only was PL not playing the way that I remember seeing him play, um. He wasn't being as risky as usual. So when so when Gross won, I kind of like shook my head. I, I didn't really know how to believe it. So I figured, all right, you know, I need to play this guy for myself. And he completely blew all my expectations out of the water. This guy is an amazing player. And now that he's in the States, people are going to be seeing him a lot more at tournaments. And I'm sure he's going to be bringing a lot of fire. And people need to be ready for him. Oh, yeah, he's definitely, he definitely, I mean, I don't know, he seems like a fucking Mexican jumping bean, though. Um, he is, he really does like to jump, and he doesn't respect wake-ups at all, but even then, that doesn't, it doesn't even out how good his fundamentals are. You know. Uh, wait, hold on, wait, let me say something real quick. Uh, I noticed I got a few big tweets, retweets over here. 
Uh, guys, if you're just joining us now, Tobias was already on. You guys missed him. Um, also, to all the questions that people sent, um, I couldn't get through all of them because we did have a limited time beforehand. Uh, John actually stood on a little longer than he was pl originally planning on. So yeah, it, was, it, was, it was originally two and a half hour. I kept him for two. Yeah, I mean, so we, we, we kind of stretched him out. So that's why I try to rush out as many questions as I could get out. And some people's questions were skipped. Some of them were actually kind of good, but I couldn't really get to them because I literally had shit loads of questions. Some people sent like 10 questions at a time. So to all the people who sent the questions, thank you. I mean, I saw them. I didn't forget about them, but I just couldn't get to them because I was limited on how much time and how much questions we could get to him. Yeah, uh, the other thing is, Justin, I know, uh, you know, I know about what you're talking about now, and uh, I, I talked to uh, Claude about that already. Um, I know I'm a stud muffin and all, but I'm a little old for some of these young ums. So let me just say, you know, we're friendly, but that's, you know, we're friends. So it was just, it was a joke, you know. So there, there's no... Uh, there's, there's no, uh, nothing going on, never going on, nothing ever going to go on. So, you know, and in fact, you know what, I'll bring it out. Apparently on the, sh on the show, I was, some, for some reason, I'm hooked up with Goldfish Keeper. You know, and needless to say, it's not the, it's not the case. I mean, why does she want to go for an old motherfucker like me who's falling apart when she can go for some of you young hot pocket niggas out there? <laughs> So the answer is no. There's nothing there. Uh, yeah. So needless to say, that'll that's enough of that. Um, anyway, Rio, are you here or not? Yeah. Okay. So, um, as far as you, what do you think? Like breakout players and and players that were overhyped were. Um. Well, I agree with. I don't think anyone can disagree with uh, Daddy Dad being the breakout player. I mean, he beat PL. Yeah. Uh, what was the other part of the question? Anybody that was less than impressive for, or should I say, wrote checks that they couldn't cash. You know, they weren't as 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 good as they talked. Uh, PL obviously being number one. What about Pig? I mean, he, he, what about dude, Pig? He talked about he was gonna how he was gonna be the best and beat everyone. And how no one's on his level, and then he gets destroyed by two players that he probably wasn't preparing for at all for the tournament. And Pig, by the way, if you look at my predictions, while not on the money, I was pretty damn good with my top 25 predictions. You know, some of the guys that came around late, like uh, uh, the Terry brothers, you know, I, obviously I, I missed. Oh, Ronaldo's with uh, Triforce right now. Are they? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's in New York now. Yes, he's in New York. Honestly, I think the more someone talks shit for a tournament, the worse you're going to do. Yeah. At least I've had that experience. That's, now, that's what the main you, reason what, I don't really talk shit anymore. Now, what are your thoughts on Gross from playing him? Uh, he was really good. He had really good fundamentals. The only weakness I spotted in playing him is he jumped up way too much, so it was easy to answer him at times. But aside from that, he was, very, he was really, really good. Who eliminated him, by the way? Uh, I don't remember. Wasn't Junior? Who did eliminate him? I really, I wanted to see him versus PL and run back. Was it Junior? Did Junior eliminate him? Yeah, Junior did. Yeah. Junior eliminated who? Junior Wait, eliminated uh, Gross. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was Junior was the one that eliminated Gross. It was like three two or something like that. It was a really close set. Yeah, and CD CD was the one that put him into losers. That's so uh, yeah. He was playing us the entire weekend. And he, wow, yeah, he was the same. <laughs> yeah, he was Dude, literally playing with the guys stupid. the entire weekend. He got his his own stuff exposed by the CD brothers. Yo, they were literally helping him out the entire week, get ready for like mainly the Kenshi and Cabal matchup. Yeah, and then they fight him. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right, yo, we're gonna train you for Cabal and Kenshi this weekend. I, I remember I was giving him a ton of Kenshi. Shirts. And then he gets Kong Lao. Yeah, then, yeah. Katana. So, what do, what do you guys think about PL saying uh, Kung Lao is in all that in a fucking bag of chips anymore? Salty. He must smoke with some of that crack. <clears throat> he's, just, he's just salty. Yeah. How the fuck is Kung Lao not top 10? <laughs> you, you, you know what's funny? 
apparently when uh, Peel lost to MIT, he said something along the lines of, "Oh well, Cabal isn't Cabal isn't top ten or top five or whatever because he loses. He has some matchups that are hard or whatever." He said Cabal's overrated. His zoning isn't even that good. People just don't know how to fight him. He said that to someone after he lost to MIT. Uh, you know, I, I I want my autographed PL shirt. Dude, you know what? I'm waiting for PL to start maining Kenshi. Hey, hey James, fix, box, fix, box, the stream. Oh. fix the stream. Fix the stream region. There you go. There you go. Come on, top dude. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. And what are your thoughts on Madsen? Playing him. Best noob ever. Really? I thought his Vortex setup was like a little OD too much. He I thought was was, that, shit was, that shit was fun though. It's watching that shit. Black <laughs> holes left and right. Yeah, I never see somebody do throw so many black holes and then EX black holes out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, it's a style that worked. It's pretty and good. Because either way, it's kind of like a win win. You know, it rather hits him and you get a combo. Or he jumps away from it and you bait him. The reason he said he did that is because it sets up mind games and it keeps the opponent moving. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have a target moving constantly like that against Noob, they're gonna be fucking running into a lot of shadows. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. The way he plays Noob is just, it's phenomenal. Does the EX portal do anything different compared to the regular one? It comes out way quicker. Oh, it's just faster, that's all it is. Yeah, so he, does, he told me he does that when he thinks the opponent's gonna tr uh, throw a projectile because he wins a trade and gets a lot of damage. Ah, uh, okay. So something like that against like like a Freddy or a Cabal, I think it would help out a lot. Yeah, like if I were to do a saw blade, for example, or Freddy were to, were to throw a glove, he'll get, he'll get hit by the, the glove or whatever, but he'll still get up in time to do a combo. Actually, I think the black hole has such good recovery that he could do it and then jump or duck the projectile afterwards. Okay. Yeah, I like his corner game setup with the with the smoke cloud that. that that you can't block, and then he does the up kick into it and shit. Yeah, he's a bunch of crazy shit that like no noob does. Yeah, I, I was very impressed with that. And he's like the only noob to abuse that enhanced disabler in the corner where the opponent gets a shit reverse and can't block. Was that he was doing? It was the enhanced disabler. Yeah, this swaps your control inputs, like okay. left will be back and etc. That's a fucked up move, man. I don't know why not not many new players ever use that. Cause it's slow as balls, and you gotta hit with it. No, because too many noobs are full screen zoning instead of he's like yeah. an in your face noob cyber player. Yeah, he definitely he definitely played very well for a noob. I mean, I, you know, I'm not gonna make excuses like everybody else and say you know the travel was fucked up and this was fucked up, you know, but it it does it is a factor at the end of the day. You know, it's not like he had a ten hour ride, you know, in a, or, or a five hour. I don't even know how many hours that flight is. You know, and it was delayed or whatever, and you it got know, be more than ten hours. Yeah, it's six to freaking Cali, so it's got to be like a fifteen-hour, sixteen-hour flight, I think. You know, but uh, I mean, he still, you know, like I said, he still did well. You know, I, I, it's it sucks because he lives in a fuck, he lives somewhere where the game's illegal. You know, and and also the fact that it's it's not like he can make it out to every major. You know, so I mean, he's pretty much. I don't want to say he, he he shot his load, but I mean, pretty much he's gonna have to wait until Evo, if, if if it's at Evo, or if he can get out to a major, you know, sometime again within the next year, or uh, hopefully he can get down to uh, the VXG uh, in July, which should be pretty hype. And that's not as far of, as a, far as a trip, but uh, you know, as far as. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Derp Tile, are you there? Because you're all silent up top. He doesn't, he doesn't talk. He better talk or I'm going to cut his ass off. <laughs> well, since we got Rio and Big D, were you guys watching the show from the beginning? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I was there watching Tobias. That's pretty like cool. The last hour. The last hour. So what do you guys thought uh, of Tobias coming on? I, th I think it was really cool. I still don't think... Um, it is just my opinion. I don't think any guest could top uh, John Turk. I think he's my absolute favorite guest that you guys have had so far. Yeah, I mean, I would. I think I would agree with that. You know, he's he was he was one of my he was my favorite too. I think. 
Why, why does the dude look exactly the same as he did like from 20 years ago? I don't know. Always <laughs> fucking doing some kind of genetic shit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, all the guests, all the guests have been cool. You know, nobody's. I, I, I didn't really walk away from one like, ah, oh, man, what a dick. They've all been pretty mellow. They're not fucking arrogant. You know. Serena was the best. Yeah, well, she'll be. Did she'll be back. Her, did you tell her her character was number one in MK? Yeah, she'll actually be back uh, within the next week or two uh, for this. Uh, this I'm not gonna call it the biggest MK loser, but we'll call it just uh, the the desire to lose weight um she's going to be having five or six guys that are uh, gonna, and we're going to follow their weight loss on the show video chat you know and it's going to be done where she's going to give them 12 weeks of training and hopefully shed some off but then again my fat ass i got on the scale today yo i'm 230 pounds i'm a fat fuck i'm talking about everybody else and i'm a hot pocket nigga really you don't look there that's what i said you know, I was doing that like, well, you know, minus the shoes and minus this. And I was justifying everything. But I'm like, no, I can't justify fucking 40 pounds overweight. I'm fucking 5'11", 6 foot, uh, monkey spools or whatever your name is, monkey chime. So, yeah, so, I mean, and Lee is cool as hell. You know, I mean, I, I talked to her on the side and uh, she, uh, you know, she, she really wants to help a couple of people out. Yeah, you weigh a hundred pounds less than me. Lucy Lou's like fucking how? Lucy Lou, what are you like? One hundred and thirty pounds? Dude, he's like me. I'm like fucking five six one thirty. Jesus. I think Christ. he. I think he's like uh, five twelve one thirty. Oh, worse. Five he's five he's twelve. You. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean six one? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean five twelve. Five twelve. Isn't five twelve six? Yeah. Well. You guys will get it. it no. no. I don't. 5'10". Uh, Jimmy, was I supposed to get that email yet? Or am I still waiting? I don't know. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for spam. one more. <laughs> it's just so you know, Felice is one of the people. Um, no, I'm waiting. She's got one more form that she wants to get me. I got to email her, actually, because she hasn't okay. gotten back I to me. I just know sometimes it. she goes into my spam, and there's like a thousand messages in there. So no, because I got really a whole better. package already of shit that I got to give everybody. Basically, signing your life away to her. And uh, that if you fucking drop dead from a heart attack, you can't sue my ass. Yeah, I weigh 215 max. I wish That's I weighed 215. Why, why does she need that, though? I mean, like, you do the insanity workout where they tell you you should go to a doctor before you do it. Yeah, but, if but you, it's... But if yeah. you do it and you have a heart attack, they're not liable. No, but, you know, there's always a fucking lawyer out there. I mean, whatever. There's always a Baruch exactly. Goldstein out there that's willing to sue you. <laughs> Goldstein. Bro, go scene sitting in our room right now waiting to troll me to fucking sue me. It's like media matters. <laughs> but uh, but no, I mean, it's 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 something that I think, you know, for the people that are going to do it, hey, look, you know what? I smoke too much. We all know that. How old am I, Tony? I'm 40-ish. <laughs> I'm over 40, but I'm under 45. I think I'm 40. What year is this? 2012. So I'm 42. Right, yeah, because I was born in '70. Damn, I'm old. Dude, I'm I'm the smallest MK player. I think you are. No one could top five six one thirty. Wow, I imagine yeah, you I'm, might you might be the smallest. Yeah. I gotta fucking you know what I gotta teach a midget. <laughs> teach a midget. Teach a midget MK with his little midget hands. Dude, I'm pretty sure most midgets are way more than me. You know what? You're, you're right. <laughs> they got those. They got those nubbed legs. They got like. They got like six foot four guys' legs on like a fucking a you half know a body. The smallest MK player? Fuck no, I'm not six one. Have you ever seen me in person? How could you? How could I ever be over six? Dude, you're even smaller than the female players. Holy shit! Exactly. Goldfish make it's like Godzilla compared to me. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but no, I mean it's it's it. I think it's gonna be good to do with the the weight thing. You know, like I said, I mean she keeps asking me to quit smoking, but you know that ain't gonna happen. I have no desire to quit smoking. Um, the other thing is, I do have the shirts getting done. So you know, all OBS members, send me an email um, to James MK at Hotmail or James MK at the On Blast Show, um, and. Just give me your name, your location, your gamer tag, your date of birth, 
and your your shirt size. Um, the shirts actually are coming up pretty. They actually came out pretty good. Um, so uh, I'm going to start getting shirts out to guys. Another thing is uh, trip sessions. Now I'm not a headband type of guy, but uh, they're putting some shit together for me also to start giving away on the show. Um, haven't figured out how or why I'm going to do it yet, but uh, yes, um, I should have them before NEC, uh, Homeboy Tyson. So, I mean, guys that are coming to NEC, if you want a shirt, you got to get to me uh, as quick as you can so I know your shirt size and who the hell is what because I'm, I'm not just going to go print up, uh, what do I got? I'm up to like 70 members now in freaking OBS. I'm not just going to print 70 shirts out and hope that you show up. So, um, that's one thing. The other thing is, uh, you know, NEC guys, I hope everybody gets down there. Uh, you know what? I didn't, you know what, Blackula? I'm going to be honest with you. My wife was wearing your shirt today as a fucking a, a nightgown. And I'm actually glad because I didn't like, I didn't like the design of the shirt. Um, the first original shirt, I just wasn't feeling it. And this one looks a hell of a lot better. So I am going to get you. I also got the other guy, Cookie, who uh, I don't know if he's in the room. I got both of your shirts obviously lined up as well. Um, it just kind of, you know what it was? It was a plain black shirt, and it had the, the when the when the music comes on, that logo kind of plastered on the chest. And I don't know. It, I don't want to say it looked like ass, but it just wasn't what I, the way I wanted it to look. <laughs> um, got to ask a question to uh, Mr. Pig. Uh, Salavia, do you not listen to me? I just said, send me all your info again and, and, and can make sure you give me your shirt size. Yeah. I could send it to anywhere. I could send it to Portugal. I could send it to Spain. I could send it to, you know, I don't know, fucking Russia. You know. What about North Korea? Yeah, I got, I got a hookup with Kim Jong-il's son, so I can do it. Nice. Um, you know, I'm going to get you, I'm going to, I got it. You know what? I got to pick up the shirts tomorrow. I got to call the guy. So I'm not going to be able tomorrow, Rolando, because, uh, I'm actually going into the city to work tomorrow. So I'm sorry. I'm not going to go all the way there to come all the way back to here to pick up a shirt. But, uh, plus I got to get my, I got to get my bracelet downloaded. But, uh, so Romney shouldn't say good game jugs. Can't believe I'm yeah, surrounded in a community of fucking Obama fans. I'm getting political now. Fuck Obama. I'm sorry. I think Obama's going to be better. Better, oh. better at what? Spending my money? Right. Than Romney. Spending my money? Yo, people blame Obama for a lot of things that were already happening before he came please, into office. Please, please. And he still That's never all fixed them. And he's, no, he's improved a lot of what it. What did he improve? He gets no credit. What did he improve? Man, I have to, like, find the Guys, number. Guys, are really I, I have to look political look. bullshit on here? Really? <laughs> no. No. Whatever. I, from what it looks like, people are. I see a lot of people freaking out because it looks like Romney is going to win. I hope so. I want to see riots on the street, looting. Yo, I want to get a fucking. <laughs> first thing I'm doing is You're I'm going to. Uh, no, no, no. The first fucking thing I'm doing, if the rioting's going on, I'm cutting motherfucking Triforce and I'm stealing a fucking Wii U. <laughs> 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 you know, but uh, but no, I, I mean, no more politics. I don't want to talk about politics. Um, Show uh, Rio's card. Oh yes. Let me. Uh, the trading card. Yeah, Rio's got a trading. Card. Oh, it came out already. It's uh, being printed actually. I got to uh, oh, open. Another up. one or the one we've seen before? I I never gotten one yet. Let's uh, let me go and check my uh, shiznit here. I gotta have a card. I was, uh, actually, I was going to ask, like, do you know when they announce who won? Because I don't really follow it. Like, uh, they already I just, announced who won. I just, seen, won. It. I just really? seen it, yeah. It was Obama. Yeah, it was Obama. Oh, it's, Obama on it's on YouTube. Oh, so hold that shit then. Yeah. <laughs> You're banned from my show, motherfucker. That was so great. Yeah, as of right now, it's the electoral votes is 303 for Obama and Romney's 203. And uh, get raped, bitch. Obama only needs 270 <laughs> to win. Wow. Seriously, it was that big of a gap? Yeah, it, it was 290 before 203. Now it's 303. Yo, make sure that dude never runs for president again. <laughs> that was That's horrible. Uh, that, that's worse than Winter losing to DJT51 in casuals at the room. <coughs> Who do you yeah, think um, the MK president should be? MK Jimmy. president? 
Tom Brady. He's the voice of the community. We need him. <laughs> Listen, all I know is today, I voted for fucking Master Chief for President because I was playing Halo for all fucking day. Ugh. Let's talk about politics. Yeah, saying. let's stop talking about fucking politics. I hate fucking politics, especially when my fucking guy don't win. You motherfuckers want to see salty? You ain't never seen salty. Yo, the, yo, we have we have the night. We've had enough white people in the president. We had enough black people as president as well. <laughs> you know, the, you know, there was a guy, an Indian guy. I don't know. I don't know if he's a senator, but he wanted to run this year. But he thought it was good too much for the U.S. to to have a you know Indian Pakistani guy run for president. Too much. This oh, is, guys, good. by the way, this is the Rio Twin Galaxy, the Mortal Kombat 9 all-time, all-time winning grand champion. And it's got to get modified, of course, because he's got to put Dallas on there. This Wait, over Dallas, Rally? Doesn't. He had to get it modified, yeah. It says Dallas. I said, but he had to get it remodified. Dude, that hood is so pro. That, that's not even my hood. Where's the back side of the card? I don't have the back side. Ah, oh, man, anything in the back side? No, I don't have the yeah, back side. Trading cards? Yeah, man, you're gonna get it. Yo, Rio's holog- big time, Where's man. the holographic one, one, man? Yo, I'll trade you my real card for your PL card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have OBS trading cards soon. Yeah, That's gonna be great. Yo, whoever gets a Cabal card wins. You know what? We should do like a game. We should like make a game like fucking magic and shit, but with like MK players, and like you would be based off of your character and shit. Who would like, be the best card then? Obviously, That's fucking Rio card. with fucking Cabal. No, fuck that. I'll be an Egyptian god card. Jesus Christ! Egyptian god card would be Tom Brady. Yeah, what's up? What's up? You know, let me. What was up with Tom Brady? Uh, I I seen a couple of things in the. Uh... Oh, Bill Stickers was like blow. Well, All not really right, blowing him up, but he was saying that you know. Bill Sticker says, oh, Brady needs to be fired from MLG. And Why? Why did he say that? I, I don't know, man. What's wrong with Tom? I thought he was great. I thought he was fine. I never the, had a problem. The best time I thought he was commentating when he was doing Tekken with Rip. Him and Rip was like, wow. They, they, their commentary was making the, the, the matter. Like, I don't like Tekken, but they actually made it look hype. Like, listen to them commentating Tekken. Let's be real. Tekken is never hype. It's not, but b- both of them commentated, made it hype. Nah. That's what I thought. I was just like, eh. I'd rather watch grass grow than watch Tekken. I hate to admit it. I mean, I watched a couple. I watched the finals. I watched the finals, and I watched the matches in between. But it's like, I don't know, man. When I watch it, you know, when I watch MK, there, there seems like... There's, you know, and, and I love how everybody sells it short, but there seems like there's more strategy involved where Tekken, I'm not, and I'm not going to say it's a button mashing game because I don't believe it is when it's at that level, but it just kind of seems like it's dodge, hit your button combo. If it connects, great. If not, he's going to do the same thing to you until eventually somebody opens up the fucking, the Pandora's box and does the tagging fucking combo. And that's all yeah. it seems like it is back and Yo, forth. I, I think in, like, Tekken, the hits, they're, like, kind of, like, the same. Like, in MK, I feel like some hits, like, they feel like they hit harder, you know? Tekken just seems kind of, like... Everything's, kinda everything, more, like, everything, it's, yeah, everything's... Yeah, it's just like the same thing, but like you know, you get uppercut. It's more, it's much more, feels much more damaging than like a regular combo. You know. That's true. Oh, Tekken on blast, whatever. I mean, no, I like. I, 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 oh, I like. I, actually, I love Tekken. I like yeah. the game. I just haven't opened it up out of the fucking box yet. <laughs> when did it come out? Uh, two, two months ago. Yeah, and I, I still haven't opened it up. The end of August, I think, or September. Yeah, something like that. Some shit. Hey, yeah, let me add, uh, hey, Mr. Trey, are you ready to come on also? Because I know you uh, let me have it. I'll give you I'll give you something, Black Bruce, Wayne. Oh, let me, a question for Rio and Big D. Since you guys were over there, did you guys manage to play the PlayStation All-Stars game also? No. Fact or no, I didn't play it uh, yesterday because Wait, only three fun? people showed up to play the game. So, I did, uh, actually, no, two people. And by me stepping up, that would have made it three, and that would have fucked up the bracket. <laughs> George, did you have a question about it? Yeah, well, Rio just answered. I'm waiting for Big D. What's up? What were your thoughts on the PlayStation also? Did you play the game also? Yeah, I actually, uh, I played it with my brother. 
it's pretty fun. I just, you know, I, I just don't see it as, you know, a tournament game. But that's it looks just like my a opinion. wannabe Super Smash Bros. It is. It's, that's, ex that's exactly, exactly, it's what, exactly it what it is. Did you play it, George? Huh. No, I have not played it. I watched it. It looks. Oh, I like the Smash Bros. game. Fun. I, pl I played it. Not at Dallas, but I did play it. Yeah, I played at Dallas. I played Kratos. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have to pick the tournament. Huh? Oh no, no, no! I didn't play in the tournament. I just played for fun. You should have played in the tournament. Fuck! It was free. I don't. Know. I didn't really. I didn't really care about too much. I was really just my main focus. You're was asking me, James, dead. MK, the man, the myth, the motherfucking legend. Oh, how I wish I could suck your huge fucking cock. I wish you would come all over my screen. I want to taste it. Oh. Yeah. What? Anyway, oh yeah, that's my James turned Siri out. What the I, hell? I got yeah, I turned Siri on, man. What can I say? So what's up, Mr. Trey? Nothing, chilling, just practicing a couple things. Teching? But yeah, <laughs> yeah. But like, thing is though, I it's kind of a call out, but it's like for a match at NEC, cause this player practically called me trash and that my ATL don't have to worry about me, and I said I have poor fundamentals. Even though he uses Kenji. It's cool though. It's cool. Who said that? Big. So you're yeah, calling out threat. are you calling out Pick of the Hut? Yeah. This is this is the thing. This is the thing, right? So I was in the thread comment on a battling brew that passed. Where he wasn't even using Kenji. So I was joking around. Cause I really didn't care. God I, I wasn't there. I was like, oh damn, I should have went. Kenji wasn't there. And I left the thread for a couple of days. I come back on TYM. I see a notification. Then I see his comment. Oh, ACL don't gotta worry about Trey Pam. He can't you just an excuse for his poor fundamentals. But I won and I'm actually one of the top players in Atlanta. So I'm first I got mad. I was gonna blow him up on here. Then I thought about it. Aren't there only like five top players them. in Atlanta? There's more than that. It's just some of them don't travel. But That's what they all say. Or at least come down here, you get trashed. But anyway, damn. I I, I but anyway, can't, I can't go anywhere. But anyway, let me finish. I got rudely interrupted by an ass quantum player. But <laughs> it's true. Man. All right. So this is my thing. I know he's probably listening. Somebody gonna tell him. But this is the thing. I want to do a fifty dollar match. Like <laughs> if we meet in tournament, whoever takes who out gets fifty dollars. No first to five. No first three is in tournament. Wait, wait, wait. Only if it's in tournament. No, nah, like if we meet up in tournament, it's going to be $50, whoever takes you out. But if we don't meet by some circumstance, do a first to five $50 money match. Character lock? Don't have to be. But you and pick. So, you, so yeah. you're going to. Wait, 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 wait. So you're going to put 50 bucks down on quite possibly a 2 8 match of Katana vs. Kenshi. That's what you're yeah. saying right now? Yeah. I'm not scared. Big says, Big says thanks for the 50. <laughs> he's, he's really cocky, but he hasn't fought me in a long time. I I mean, long this is just my opinion. I don't think it matters how good of a Katana player the person could be. Kenshi is Katana's worst nightmare. Who said I was using Kenshi? You could... Damn. That's what I'm asking. Oh, see, you already I'm assuming asking. shit. I said there was no character life for a reason. Now, the pride side of me wants to use Kit all the way. That might still happen. I might use Kit all the way and actually take games off him. Maybe win if I'm on point that day with my reads. I go, I could always take the cheap route and just learn a character for that matchup. I could always do that. I mean, there's always Kung Lao, so. Man, but then again, Kung Lao is in top to ten. So I don't know if you want to use his Yeah, because PL said <laughs> Kung Lao's like Kung, Kung Lao's like he's thirty. Yeah, he's thirty four. Don't listen to PL's bipolar. Going on to that conversation, Kung Lao is not top five, but he is top no, ten. Not top ten. He is top ten. Yo, how does it feel to have someone who's won back to back evils with a mid tier character? Don't start with that shit. I wasn't at evil. Don't start with that Yo, you should give, use give PL, against yo, give PL any other mid tier character like fucking Raiden or whoever, he would have still won Evil twice. Pull that shit. He would have won him with Baraka. Huh. 
Let me, let me say something. Let me say something. He'll on this trip because he got bodied and MLG. That's the only reason he's saying it. He pulling a 16 bit right now. How 16 bit used to be pulling on and keep losing with Katana, like, oh, she's not that good, blah, blah, blah. That's what he's doing. But he's doing it worse. Yeah, but like, everyone knows 16 bit's not serious, right? Sometimes he is. No, I'm putting him on battle. Sometimes he is. Sometimes he's not, but. Now, was the 16 bit the one who stated that, that you know he's the best katana out there and, and it matters on placings at tournaments yet even though he may have beat crazy dominican at mog crazy dominican and him placed the same exact position at mog wait yeah. they both placed fifth i'm not even going to comment did. on that i'm not even going to comment on that because that whole mirror match was just retarded dude i don't <laughs> know about you guys but i never seen cd play so horrible in my life that's what i'm saying yeah he played like, pretty horrible not it was wasn't like dude, it wasn't only the mirror match just Dallas and dude, Dallas in general, CD played off every match. Yeah, he, he definitely like, did. He wasn't punishing. He wasn't like maximizing damage. I was like, the fuck is CD doing? Like, Actually, when I played him at the VSM return, I mean, he was on point, except for the first match. But other than that, that was, was that was VSM. That wasn't. The stream is echoing. <laughs> it ain't. Which I don't know. He beat my ass, so I'm not saying yeah. chill. Uh, Mr. Uh, Pig, are you there? Oh, shit. Yes, here we go. Are you there or are you sounding, you're sounding like... Hold on, like hold, on, hold, on. hold on. All right, guys, I got to go, but I'll be back in like an hour. All right, man. All right. Okay. I was Peace. playing Super Bowl. Uh, dude, I'm down for whatever with Trey Pound. <laughs> That's cool. He can use Kung Lao, Cabal. He can use the like, Kratos. He can use whatever. Um, Damn, Kratos? I, th I, thought he, I thought he was serious, but the fact that he was joking, I apologize. But if he wants to make it a $5,500,000 $5, money match or whatever, it's I said okay, $50. Cool. I'm just making it hype for NEC. This ain't no personal shit. This is hype. $5,500,000. Wow. What's up with everybody? Six foot twelve, five foot twelve, six fifty hundred thousand dollars You $50,000. further than what I was. I'm just saying this is funny. I was, I was mad. I'm about to blow you up. And I was like, wait a minute. I could just make this hype for NEC. Well, all right, all right, all right. I got this. All right, let's go. All right, let's do this. Let's make it hype. Uh, do whatever you want. No character lock. Pick whoever you want. You can do hidden select. That's you you're gonna need it, buddy. Oh, you, I am. You think you think I'm that? Hey, 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 let, let me let me tell you let me tell you something about Trey real quick. At Raleigh, I, I was free him. at Raleigh. You, I blew you him. Dude, 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 you're free every day. What are you talking about? You're not free wow. at Raleigh. You're free every day. <laughs> 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 oh, I like that. I want you to, at next Batman bro. When you're there, I want you to choose that ass sector against me. Then I actually you know what I'm gonna use. I'm thinking about mirroring you with your own fucking character. And then you gonna watch what happened. And you're gonna be like, damn, I should Dude, you're so that. terrible, dude. I'm not worried. Uh, <laughs> okay, because you go off on Wednesday, man. You've seen me for a while. I haven't been back to battling, bro, since I've I wonder, I wonder, I wonder why. Facebook post. Hey, who's going to B&B &B tonight? Oh, pig. But then I thought I, I had to work. work. No, I do have to work, and my schedule works out that way. I if listen, I could, listen, 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 I would hey, just to hey, you. Let me, let, me, let me tell you something. If you're going to come on a show and try to call me out, then I'm gonna deliver the shots right back. So all right, cool. It's cool. It's cool, man. Like, um, yeah. cool, hey, stay dude. free to Nightwolf. Maybe I'll just pick Nightwolf. Yeah. yeah. I'm not worried about Nightwolf right now. See, that's the best. You still on old shit, pig. You still on old shit. Dude, what have you done? I haven't what? done anything since I've been working. That you done, no, 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 you haven't done anything ever. What are you talking about? Why are you wow. even talking like all big at me and shit? I'm not saying big. I said you well, talked. I, dude, I, I, I apologize. I didn't know you were joking because you always bitch and tear about Kenshi constantly. That's why wait, Atlanta has a pack. Atlanta has a pack, dude. You realize that? You bitch about Kenshi so much that we create <coughs> a pack to always okay. Kenshi on you. Okay. And then what happened when Tyler tried to use it again after I figured it out? I beat him. Right? I, I know. And I was right. Proud right. I was proud. And right. We, we do that because we're trying to help you. Because we want you to be able to beat Kenshi, we don't want we want you to stop bitching about him. Just learn the matchup. You know what I mean? But there's yeah. nothing to learn about an eight-two matchup. Technically, I just don't like the character in general. It's not even. I don't know. Man. Your boy, your boy Kadic has no problem with it. He does well. That's him. We and play two totally different styles. We play what, two what, totally different. What good and bad? I mean, what what are you talking about? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, He's a like good and bad. <laughs> I'm keeping it real. You're you know, I'm keeping it real. I just told you. I told you he plays the matchup really well. And then you say, "Well, he has two but different has styles." I'm like, "Well, dude, you better be picking up that style for that matchup." All right, then. Like I said, like I, I said, you haven't fought me in a while. You haven't fought me in a while. But okay. Like hey, I I don't, it's cool, dude. Listen, I do what you it. want. When I beat you, blame it on your tech and practice. You know, wow. I haven't played Tekken in a while for a reason. How are you doing in Tekken, by the way? 
Real talk. I'm actually training for NEC for a reason. Not That's for your cool. match. I'm trying to win. Oh, dude, I, I'm free. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't care, bro. Right now, I'm focusing on MK. Right now. Good. How are you? That's how good. are you free in Tekken, man? You use Kenshi. All you gotta do is mash buttons. No, I don't play that. So I, don't, I don't play Tekken. I love yeah, funny, yeah I but you play Kenshi, and all you have to do is mash buttons with him as well. So you James, should be dominant in Tekken. James, you know what's crazy is like there's just so many damn Kenshi. Oh wait a minute, there's only one. One Kenshi making top eight. That's right. Forgot about that. <laughs> if it's that easy to use, Trey should pick up. Ken Actually, no, Trey, pick up Kenshi and main him. <laughs> At NEC, if you win right, more than two right, games, man. I'll pay you fifty bucks. Nah, like I said, before. no, I'll pay you fifty bucks if you win more than two games. Let me tell you a story. I told back when Trey said that uh, Kenshi was brain dead. Well, he still says it, but he just says it, he says it privately now. Um, I picked. Oh, uh, I, no, no, real quick. I've never uh -huh. played. I haven't played Katana since May two thousand eleven. I picked her up. Um, for like an hour and I haven't played her since I was doing jump and punch uppercut combos and I beat Trey's Kenshi and I guess yeah I my Kenshi now really played but okay dude Hi. he's he's brain dead he's free any top player like yourself can like main him and pick him up and yeah, that's sure. a top player though okay that's any okay okay hold on any average player I mean what, what what should I say high level average I mean what okay what should I say you are Wow, all you take it to another level now. So, but all right, I'm, you take some down. I was doing dots out. You trying to push that button? Oh, That's this is on blast. This is on blast show. This is on blast show. I'm keeping it civil. I'm not trying to say certain hey, things. Hey, oh, no, you don't stay civil on the on blast show. You let it go. No, 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 no. I'm staying civil for a reason. I'm staying civil for a reason. I'm trying to work on myself like that. Okay, I, I, well, I, I that, that's, that's, cool. that's good. That's good. That's good. But if, you, but dude, uh, reality check. You're on the blast show, and you're calling me out. So I I'm said not, a 50, I, I'm friendly fifty dollar money match because you said I was no poor fundamentals. So I was like, okay, well, let's put some money on it. I think in Mortal Kombat yeah. you do have poor fundamentals. Oh, okay, it's uh -huh. I mean I, I do, but if you're uh -huh. gonna call, if you're gonna call me out, then I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, okay. what do I, do I so want? Like I say, you haven't fought me in a while. Rally was months ago. Yeah. Shit has changed. But all right, you, oh. you hey, believe what you want. I believe what I want, and we will see what happens. I'm telling you because I want to help you. You tell me because you want to help me. Like I said, you do you, I'm going to do me, and let's see what happens. And then, and if the opposite reaction comes out and I beat you, I don't want to hear Trey, shit. I I'll tell you what. I don't want to hear shit. I'm just kidding. I don't, I, I don't want your money. If you beat me, I'll give you 50 bucks. If I beat you, just go the other way and shut up. I don't want your money, man. Damn. You see, you taking it personal. I was telling you. No, I'm not taking Actually, it personal. I'm, I'm, not taking no, I'm, not taking, I'm not taking it personal. I'm just yes, trying you to you are. I would honor the $50 person. Person. anyway. No, whether you put it or not. But this is the thing. I know you. personal more than I am. All right, I'm about to get real. I know you have a problem, okay? And when someone calls you out, you have this problem where you feel like like a wuss or something if you don't Oh, no. This is not feeling like a wuss because the old me that I'm freaking. have this issue before. You Dude. had this issue before, and I'm making this I up. Had this issue before. Oh, you could call somebody could call me out the whole time. And I'll check them, but right now I'm trying to keep it friendly, civil, because I'm not trying to bring personal shit into it. But the shit you saying is pressing that button. Standing three, standing three in Super Bowl. Take that. Like I'm saying, this is the difference between how I'm going by how you going by. I said you said I have four fundamentals. I said okay, let's play. Okay, real Without talk. Uh, real talk. I hope you do well in NEC. I'm not taking your money, but if you beat me in a first to three or first to five, I'll pay you 50 bucks, period. I'm not taking your money. Oh, yeah, Yo, I hope NEC has first to three instead of first to two, because I really hate that first to two fucking rule. Well, Revival had it. I don't know if that shit. Oh, like wait, wait, wait. I, I actually, you guys have... James, is there anything you guys can do? Uh, I know Junior, Junior and I were talking about it, trying to get NEC first to three kind of MLG rules and shit. They should because some of the other games have been inheriting that. Like Marvel, Dude, it's so much better. Than MOD. It's, like, it's, I mean, you, I mean, if you think about this, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be real, James. If you want to talk about like the the other players, you know, not having a good time or getting noticed. Yeah. I mean, people travel like 12 or 14 hours to these events and whatnot, and at least give them three games. <laughs> you know, at least, you know, at least get. You know, it's it's. You know what I mean? You know what I mean by that? I mean, yeah, it's like, no, it's I it's mean, it's it's getting a little bit of a bang for your buck. Yeah, well, I mean, not to cut in because I wasn't asked, but I will talk to because you know, like for NEC, it's like Comet Network kind of like runs the tournament. Yeah, that's and awesome. you and usually they uh, 
like we, we we do like not calls but we'll do like group text messages throwing out ideas and actually well, I think it was Summer Jam I tried to get them to do uh, first to three since there was like you know there was only 32 people and they still denied it but see that's but the will, thing I mean time pop, when it comes to the stuff. problem the problem everybody is everybody needs to demand it yeah Nobody well, demands it's it not only that though you also got to keep in mind the time restraints depending on the turnout yeah. You know, well, uh, it's 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 gonna be, you know, you you you're gonna bum rush this, and a lot of people. I mean, either that or people are gonna be getting DQ'd out the ass for not being standing there. You know, and that's you know, unlike you know an MLG event where you're all standing there for a reason. Nobody's out there trying to go over to you know get a StarCraft match that you have. You know, so it's easier. With this, you know, you get a lot of players that do play Street Fighter and all those anime games. Players should leave their phone number, definitely. Yeah, but then that requires them to answer it, and that's, you know, a whole other issue. Why would, wait, why was a player leaving the phone number? What was that? No, like, you know, like, because I mostly did most of running Summer Jam just with 32 people, and it was just ridiculous trying to find players in other rooms and stuff like that. Well, I mean, one one thing that was crazy. I'm I'm glad Phil had my number at the time. Was I remember at NEC last year? They were supposed to do top eight on Sunday at like four o'clock, and we didn't go to bed till like five a.m. And they like Phil woke us up at like ten a.m. You gotta get down here now. And we're like, oh god, yeah. <laughs> we're like crawling out of bed, like <laughs> hungover. Well, at, uh, at at ECT, well, it didn't happen at summer, but ECT, uh, what's it? Uh, Chris G's girlfriend gave me her number so I could call her when he was up. Oh, okay. And that that really worked. And I That's just think cool. it would work because sometimes, especially if I'm calling, like we're calling somebody and we don't even know who they are, like we never yeah. heard of them. And then it's like we're running into like running into rooms saying these names. And uh. I mean, they got to take. I mean, unfortunately, you know, the guys that are running it have to take a a firmer stance. <laughs> You know, this is what you got to do. It, it, tell them at the straight up front. If you go around and start dicking around when you're supposed to play, then you're getting DQ. <laughs> You oh, know. quick, quick, uh, was it NEC announcement? Not big, but uh, I will be there. Like, I will be there, of course, but I'll be, uh, I'll have my streaming equipment with me. I don't know if I'll be able to actually stream because I don't know how it's going to be with bandwidth, but at least I'll be able to record like those matches that never make it to stream that should have been on stream. And at least I'll, I'll be able to record them. Okay. That's going to be cool. So, I mean, you'll have actually those matches that are on the side that... Uh, so, how many streams are there now? Three? Or are you the second? I think they're only... From what I heard, which I don't agree with, they're going to do one for MK9, one, and then the other one for the older MKs. Yeah, for the real MKs. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. They, how many people are going to be playing that? I mean, there's going to be people, but is it going to really take up the whole day? Yeah. Where people, the stream has to be people dedicated? Wanna, people want to watch me friendship everybody. Well, <laughs> like I said, they plan on doing, like, what? MK1, 2, 3, uh... Yeah, they're doing, right. they're doing all of Get in. People want to watch the Baraka spin. Well, I mean, I... I, think, I, I Killer I think Instinct they, also. Yeah, it's Killer Instinct. I mean, they... Phil kind of mentioned it, but I'm going to tell him I'm not streaming anything but MK9. Oh, now you're Sorry. gonna now you're gonna lay the law down and shit. Uh, if I just for my for my laptop and my stream with the new streaming equipment I got, it cost me about a G. So if I'm gonna say, I I think I could decide what I stream. <laughs> it's just saying, you know, if 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 they kind of like help me out with getting the stuff, then I can understand. But I it was out of my pocket. So. What they gotta so. So you want to do two MK9 streams and then no. what? Oh. No, not that I'm doing an MK9 stream because I don't even know if I could get bandwidth regardless. But at least I could record the matches locally, and, then, and, then and then I could stream them later. Yeah, yeah, stream another day, you know, and do all those hype matches that weren't able to make it on stream. Mm -hmm. hey, those uh, hype losers would it matches. help? Would it help if I could bring a wireless, um, <laughs> like one of those wireless network cards, so you could uh, have two streams for MK? Of course, I might be able to help out. One thing I gotta go and just make like announcement. I gotta make sure I get off work. So and I, I, I got off work last week, you know, for MLG. So I can't come back in town like today and be like, all right, I guess what, guys? What do you three do? I'm going off again, huh? What do you do? I, don't I do like three or four things. So it's so sure moonshine it's down in Georgia. Yeah. Um, well, there's a lot of things I got to check on, and after I get the okay, then I'll come and I'll book. I'll book the van stuff. I know everyone's like, hey, when's Pig book book in the van type thing like that? Well, I can't really do it. Until I make sure I can get off work, but I can't just get back out of town and be like, hey, let me off work. 
So, so you so you're looking to bring a bunch of players from your area down to NEC? About fifteen. Damn. We I I I've I've got a reservations for fifteen people in two vans. Uh, each van we're gonna be playing MK on the whole way down there on a lagless setup in each van. And we're also gonna have four Vitas, two in one van, two in another van, and we're gonna drive next to each other on eighty five north and we're gonna have on the interstate Vita tournaments. <laughs> my van, my van versus Ed's van. And how far does that work? Uh, we, I've tested it. It works about 25 feet. Wow. So, yeah, work. so we're going to have van tournaments. Yeah, but that's fucked up, man, because like if you're losing and shit, you're just going to tell the driver, hurry up, speed up. Yeah, dude, we're gonna pull. We're gonna pull. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> lag them. We're gonna we're gonna lag out. Pull. Well, just as long as one, if the, one person stays behind the other one, then you should be fine. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Jugs to NEC, but there, there's a rule: no Street Fighter in the van, no tacking in the van, none of that shit. We're playing MK only. Uh, that's it. If you want to play other shit, bring your 3DS or Vita or what whatnot. But no Parappa MK Rappa, only. man. That sucks. Can, do you know the confirmed people so far? Um, I it's don't want to think about it because... What a rumor. What's the rumor, people? The rumor? No, no, no. I don't want to think. Showtime, I... Oh, no. Show, Showtime bought his flight the other day. He was going to fly to Atlanta right with us, but uh, he found a really cheap flight. So I think he's confirmed for NEC now. Um, dude, I, I really don't know because I don't... I, I haven't really want to think about it until I get, like, off work and stuff and then just go from there. Okay. I, I, know, I know, like, Tyler Lantern's one... Um, so crazy, crazy says he's gonna fly to Atlanta and then drive up with you guys. If he can, and I can see, that's the whole problem. I'm glad Showtime guys fly because I don't want to like not be able to confirm until two weeks from now, and then say, oh, it's two weeks before the event. Now go buy your expensive ass flight, you know. So I, that that kind of sucks. So you just want, you don't want people relying on you, uh, you know, until yeah, you I don't want people relying on me unless they're from Atlanta. And even if I can't, there's always beer guy Ed that's going, and. So it's just one of those things. I, I just have to make sure and get off work. I have to make sure my boss is cool. I think my boss might be out of town that weekend, which I, that means I don't even have to tell anybody, and I can just get someone to cover my radio spot, and and then just get, and then just go. Oh, if it's a go, definitely make sure you get Jugs's ass up here for his MK3. Oh. Yeah, man, I tried to get him up there last year. I'm gonna definitely make sure his ass is up this year. It's be cool. Hey, Jugs from your way? Do you what? Is Jugs from your way? Yeah, he lives. He lives like North Atlanta. Oh, I didn't know that. Like, okay. Yeah, he lives like in Buford, which is like. 20, 30 minutes, yeah, something like that at 85 North. It would be nice to see Jugs come out to NEC. Yeah, I know he went out there like two or three years ago. Hey, hey, so why isn't anybody talking about that team tournament, James? I don't know, because it wasn't even any fun in my opinion. Yeah, it kind of sucked being just one match and then you're off. Yeah. That's it. Well, yeah, the was problem like... was, I mean, even, even, with four, even with only four teams, one match it took like two three hours so i think that's why yeah i think yeah well they should have done so many fucking like casual matches in the beginning when they first started airing they should have just gone right to the tournament oh uh, no no I, i'm with you but, but but the problem is us mk people weren't there on time <laughs> you know like for example crazy and tyron didn't get there until like we were almost like literally about to start so uh, we, we changed teams like five times like originally i was on team uh cat our team south with cat and showtime but then uh, Post Shop showed up, and then like uh, Tyrant showed up, Chef showed up. So we just kind of fucked around, made new teams and stuff. It was, it was all fun. I mean, yeah, but you cool. know what? You know, and, and this was my point with Carlos. In order for it to work, mm -hmm. it's got to get done like the Atlanta Braves, the New York Mets, the Houston Astros, you know, the California Angels. Everybody's got, well, I guess, the Chicago Cubs and uh, Ohio Scrubs. Um, and it's got to be where... You know, the point of the teams is actually you got to give something away. You know, not, I mean, controllers was a cool thing, you know, and I give yeah, them props that for that. Yeah, really cool. um, that, uh, that was unexpected. You know, and, and that was really cool. But if they, what it is, is it's a way, you know, if you have a team Atlanta, you know, where like you got like StarCraft broken down to teams, your singles is going to be greatly expanded because you got these teams already coming. So if you got a team, like I said, of six guys, and you got ten teams, you know that's sixty guys right there. Yeah. So in your singles, you already got sixty guys that are guaranteed to play in the singles. You know nobody's going to go there just do team. So now anybody else that comes after that sixty point, and to be honest, I think fifty 
is the make and break point for a, a, basically a tournament, you know, to, to yeah. be considered a success. So you're already starting 10 up on that. I'm kind of upset that uh, I never got to play in the team tournament because I was on Team Bernie, and MIT and DJT named me Uncle Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> I was going in as Uncle Bernie. I like that. But, I mean, it, 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 I think if they, you know, next year, if they, they put some more into it, and maybe if they can... You know, I mean, I gotta. I didn't look at. I gotta relook at the uh, the top eight for Arena. Oops. And uh, but I mean, Arena pretty much is what uh, Mac Rio Max to you. Who was fourth? Uh, Dizzy. Dizzy. Yeah. See, it's already split up where it's not enough that you could say I had two teams, two or two, two to a team from an area. Yeah. You know, but I mean that's something else. You know, the team thing. I think. The game is itself, you know, like I said, and I know we disagree on just about everything. I don't know about maybe who, I don't know who you voted for. But, uh, I, vote, I, vote, I vote for Obama. I got no problem telling people. Oh, God. So we agree on that. We disagree on everything then. Well the, funny, <laughs> well, the, well, the funny thing is I have a lot of Republican views, but I also have a lot of uh, Democratic views. So it really just, in this case, it just really came down to choice of the personality and the, and the, uh, the character itself. And I, I, I really don't like Romney. I think he's a piece of shit. So, I mean, honestly, if there was like a really, really good Republican candidate, I'd probably vote a Republican. But um, I don't know, man. But you know, I mean, my thing is like, if if it, uh, you know, if the team thing can be successful, then it's it's it breeds new life in. Because let's be realistic, as much as it is fun, and I mean, I don't know who who's actually sat and played four player tag. It is fun. Oh, I, I would have loved to have done that instead. You I know, really would have. And, and and if maybe in arena they can do, you know, pair everybody up two and two and do the four player, you know. And it's funny because you know what, nobody's really gotten into it beyond like, uh, you know, Tony T and uh, and Jack, you know. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it it it'd and be Tyler funny, also. yeah. And to see guys actually try to connect shit, you know, it's so much more rewarding watching a game of tagging people in like that as compared to Tekken tag. You know, and I'm not, once again, I'm not trying to shit on Tekken, but it's just their tag just seems like, eh. Yeah, I, I, but I don't like the four-play tag. If you're going to do tag, just do one-on-one -on -one and you have your two guys and two guys. No, nah, I want, I, you, I, I I want like it to be character player. dependent because, you know, I play Baraka, Pig plays Kenshi. What the fuck kind of wacky shit are you going to get out of that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There was Shankster who plays Kenshi also. Shankster knocked out Poke Chop. Yeah. And Shankster plays Kenshi also. And a Baraka player uh, almost beat him 3 2, but, but lost in the final round. How did a Baraka <laughs> play? How did a Baraka play? Baraka versus Kenshi. I kept thinking, I was going, I'm going to call James. I'm going to call James. <laughs> how did a Baraka <laughs> player, how did a Baraka player get in on Kenshi? I played Dude. Shankster and Loser. He used Kung Lao on me. Yeah, he's a, he's a Kung Lao Kenshi main. And okay. he picked Baraka, so he counterpicked a Baraka with Kenshi and was like down to his final round or something. It was crazy. Who was he playing against? I was using Baraka. Uh, I can't remember. If you look at the brackets, it was um, it was. I don't know. I could probably find him somewhere. There was another Baraka player there. Yeah, just just ask Shankster on um, TYM who it is. That's Dude. really weird. Why yeah. why wouldn't he use Kenshi against me and you would use Kung Lao? That's really uh, weird. Who'd you who'd you use? I used Ermac. Did you win? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really, dude. I mean, he didn't know the matchup. You know? Huh. I, I swear to God, that, that, that's how Houston gets their Kenshi practice, is Shankster and Cat. This dog here is the NEC fucking top player. Yeah, we got some life from Mr. Eric Water. He wrote to you on Facebook games. Did he? Yes, he did. Because he wrote fucking. I know why he wrote fuck. Uh, let me see. This is actually a cool dog. I like this dog. Hey, uh, Mr. D it's it's Derp Tile, right? It's Derp Tile's dog. Mm. No, not again. What? I like having a <laughs> fucking dog. dog. <laughs> it's a doggy. Doggy can. Dog, a doggy. But uh, let me see what he wrote. Yeah. Yeah, I want him to come back. Yeah. Actually, can't you wait? Can't you guys do a team tournament uh, at the arena? Two pe like two people per team. 
Wait, why, do you, why, why, why do you keep say, why do you keep saying arena? If they do the arena. Oh, I was confused. With the top eight. No, because I just looked at the top eight. Just put um, just make uh, Pig and Rio a team. Well, Max no, no, are crazy, no, no. and then every everybody's with regions except for you two. Got the Terry brothers, two GGAs. And then, Yo, I, am I the only one that's like unsettled by this fucking this dog picture? Because I saw Derp Tile Shadow moving in the back. Oh, we seen him. We saw his face. One Did time, one time Derp Tile came on the camera with peanut butter on his dick. I mean, he's a fucking freak, man. <laughs> So, so, so you, you guys do know that, all right, so it was two GGA brothers, two Terry brothers, two Dominican brothers, and two TZA brothers. All playing each other? No, no, two, no, that made top eight. Oh. That's what I'm trying to say. Because I said to Rio, I was like, who the hell's my TZA, who's my, who's my brother? I need, I need you to be my brother, like my stepbrother. He's like, dude, we're brothers, man, we're TZA. And I was like, oh, shit, that's right. So, so uh, it's got, isn't that weird that in one tournament, two people live in the same apartment, two people live in the same house, two people live in the same house? Like, well, I guess you, it's possible you, to do you, you see this? Like, groups of two all made top eight. Like, you know, four of them are brothers, and two of them are basically brothers. And me and Rio are, like, estranged brothers <laughs> through TZA, through M2 Dave's estranged family. I think people that live with each other is a big, big thing. No, isn't that and weird? There's exceptions like, like whole you country? It's odd. Well, you got to remember, when they when they do those arena events, that takes hours. And they do the, the fighting games in one day, and they stream every match. So they might not even have no time to even do a team thing. No, because they did last time. They, you know, they were doing those. You know, well, they did cut back, but that was, you know, the whole yeah, uh, Tekken uh, Soul Caliber drop in, and they didn't do the prize fights. Last no, time, right? yeah, because no, it was no, they so late. Yeah, but we did it late the first time. When James and, and wasn't time, invited. The first time we got out of there, we, 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 we left like almost two in the morning. So, they yeah, that was it. fucking ridiculous, man. I was like, holy shit! Shit, I, it was, I didn't like it. I enjoyed it. Real Actually, I missed the end of it because I went out. I left and I ran into James outside. Shit, I never like I barely got home that night. And I should be. Oh, I was like, oh my god. Any C? You going, George? Any C? It hasn't been decided yet. Yeah, you're going. Oh, and James, thanks for bidding me up to fifty bucks for charity. Hooked you up, baby. That's what it's all about. You think I wanted a Freddy glove? Fuck out of here. <laughs> I just wanted to see how far you would go. I figured 50 was a good spot. <laughs> I was I was like, shit, if he goes 51, am I going to go 52? I was like, maybe I should. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I just gave like $75. Now I got to get out. Should I go up to 75 and make him pay 75? And then I was like, nah, because you know what? Nah. I'll go to like 74. And he's going to be like, nah, it's all yours. <laughs> and I'll have a fucking nah, Freddy I'm glove. I'm 75. Hey, if Yo. they did, if they did, I'm sorry, just real quick, if they do, they do an arena, they should invite PL Clint and Showtime because they got they got gypped out of the arena in September. You know, you're right. They should, but I mean, they're not. They're you know, not even not. even what we talked about, you know, you may disagree with it, but what we talked about on the forums, you know, that's just, to me, it's just a little shit. It's a, there's some shady shit that goes on. You know, it's not the aspect of how they treat us as much as it is in the business world that yeah. was that was shady you know i mean it would be no different than if you turned around and you know say you wrote a song and i just took your guitar fucking or your your or, or, or your guitar in it and put it on my own shit but yeah that's mine you'd be pretty like uh that's kind of fucked up mm -hmm. you know but that's just you know that's that, that, that happens anyway <laughs> and it and it pisses you off that's why I really don't do the music industry right now. You know, but, you know, and, and that's the thing, and it pisses you off. That whole thing to me was kind of the same. You know, now one of them, of course, and, and you know what? Because there wasn't much of a difference. You know, it's really not. So you know, but with with the, with the hurricane and everything, I think it was kind of related to that. Um, but uh, you know, I mean, NEC should definitely be pretty fucking hype. I think. The turnout can beat Dallas if done right, you know. And if that's the case, I'd love to see the first of three. You know, I think I think I think, I think uh, NEC is going to have more than Dallas. You know, Honestly, I, though, if it has similar, even if it's just similar numbers, you got to think if it's first of three, 
they got to spread out the days or they have to start it mad early if they're going to do it all in one day. I'm looking at Derptow walk back and forth and this dog's just like looking at him like, get the fuck away from me, dude. <laughs> big, big D real quick. I got to tell you something. Funny. I don't know if you know about this, but you were talking about it earlier. Like during our match when Junior was yelling at you, uh, pick on out, pick a ball, pick a ball, you know, like just telling you what to do. And now do this, now do that. Why is there a picture of Freddy Krueger in the dog cage? <laughs> <laughs> That's the glove that uh, during the Phil's tournament uh, charity that I let freaking uh, Felice bid on over me. Oh, I thought that was I thought that was derp tile. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, that's like, <laughs> that <laughs> that he's gonna gut his shit. dog. All of a sudden, you hear the dog yiping, man. So, all right, so so Junior was like, you know, you know, trying to taunt me and tell you what to do and this and that and all that good stuff. Anyway, so right after the match. Sorry, I'm playing circle at the same time. Um, what? How did you do that? Anyway, um, right after the match, it said uh, Pig of the Hut close, closes out a close one versus Big D 3-1. to one. This was from the MLG tweet, Twitter. And it said, with great, with, great, with great support and help from his brother, CD Jr. <laughs> no, no. Like, they thought he was, like, not taunting me. They thought he was helping me. Oh, they, they thought they thought he was helping you. Yeah, they thought Junior was helping me, and I and I, sh- I called Manny over there. I was like, dude, you gotta look at this, and he just shook his head, like, man, yo, what the fuck, man? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> because, because he was, I mean, anyone that was like sitting like anywhere near him or in the room knew damn well that he was blowing me up, and your know, pig's gonna lose, pig's out, blah blah blah, this blah, you know, just like tearing me up, pig's gonna fall, all this shit. You know what? You know what this? You know what this supports? This supports what? my idea that MLG fails to do their homework on the MK community. Well, because if we, they if they had an idea of what was going on, they yeah. would have no fucking clue. I mean, it was a sco- it was a scorecard guy. It was like MLG fighter scores Twitter, yeah. and so I don't know like what his priority is. <laughs> He's probably, I don't know, but you're. I mean, in that case, you're right. In that sense, you're right. I mean, it's a lot of little... I mean, like, look, they tell you no blood, but then, you know, all of a sudden fatalities are happening, right. you know, and, and is that that's kind of us. Huh? They don't take no blood? What are you talking about? No, they're supposed to not do the blood, believe it or not. Uh, really? It's always been that. It's just nobody listens, you know. Do you, do you, know, do you know you're supposed to get to, uh, are warned or DQ'd? Like, like you, this whole time in MLG... You're not supposed to be like talking to people behind you in the crowd. No. You're supposed. You're supposed. If you if you talk to someone in the crowd, you're supposed to like ask for a timeout and leave leave the stage, like 16 bit did versus Dizzy. Yeah. He was the only one who did it correctly. Yeah, that's right. He was the only one that actually called for a timeout. And you know, I, I don't. I don't know. I would. I wouldn't do it at all, no matter what. I mean, unless my controller fucked up or something. Mm-hmm. You know. But uh, I mean, it's it's. I mean, it was like the first in Columbus, you know, uh, in Columbus, when uh, when he played, uh, when, when Junior played P- PL the first time, and, you know, there was that one dude that was running around making, you know, making straight up money match, you know, betting on, on side bets and everything. You know, MLG doesn't want that being seen. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know, and here's this dude running around, you know, screaming some ghetto ass shit, you know, telling people fucking twenty dollars, twenty. He looked like the motherfucker from uh, from remember the movie Kickboxer, the guy that was running around betting, you know, taking mm-hmm. bets with everybody. Yeah, and uh, and of course he's screaming, you know, yo, kill that nigga motherfucker, kill that nigga motherfucker. Now you're doing this on a stream. It's live. You can't stop that. That's why kind of they they try to keep that PC. But you can't all the time, you know. And that's the reality. You can't. The fatality thing, you know. That's why it's like either just acknowledge it and be like, let it go. Yeah, Dan, Dan, Daniel made some money side bets in MLG. Actually, what am I talking about? I made like four or five side bets. That's. I think a lot of us did. I think Junior and. Was the one who got it started. Junior kept trying to get people to side bet stuff. So much money was won and lost on Gamer Blake versus Tyrant. <laughs> really? That, that shit was awesome. So, what was the most exchange money match? Um, 
I think twenty. I think I think a couple of people did twenty dollar money matches. I think that was the most money. Man, all these people talk all this shit. Anybody got like a hey, five hundred dollar? Hey, 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 I challenged every cabal player to a fifty dollar money match, and no one took me up on it. Can I threaten Ed Boone and make him have justice at NEC thirteen? What? Uh, Factor wants me to threaten Ed. I don't know about that. Damn, I'm sorry, Tyler. I'm sorry. Unless you took Maxter, then, then you're an asshole. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not an asshole. You're smart. <laughs> yeah, but also what we were talking about, you know, like I said, I would have did the bounties, you know. It's just with the hurricane and shit. I actually had uh, pre-frozen. I still have them in my refrigerator, in my freezer. Uh, pre-frozen uh, cantaloupes, about 10 of them. And there was about 10 people that I was going to be put putting bounties on. So, I mean, NEC, when I get some guys that are confirmed, I'll uh, I'll start putting some bounties out on people. You know, but, I, you know, it's funny because I, I, I love when, when people ride on my dick telling me how, you know, oh, you hate, you hate PL. No, I, I don't hate PL. You know, I don't, if I hated you, trust me, you would know I hate you. You know, but it's like, you know, here I am. I'm basically making one-sided bets. You know, I mean, unless the person, you know, unless I put like twenty dollars, you know, or fifty dollars, whatever, on uh, against Rio, that's the only one where uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, have a chance of not losing it. You know, what is this, James? I was going to give it to. Yeah, no, uh, Lucy Lou, I know. I got. I'm going to definitely uh, put that towards uh, Scoot. I don't think PL is going to be an AC. I don't think so either. Yeah, I mean, I, I I already miss like the community. Like, I mean, I don't care about the money. I just want to like hang out. Like we, like I think we all had so much fun at this last event. We had a party. We we had a table of like fifty three people at TGIF Friday. Yeah, but you guys are all squares. What's your party? Hot pockets and fucking. You know, you guys, you guys can't party. Well, actually, that's actually complete bullshit. I saw but, I saw um, Toro freaking ironing hot pockets. No, but, but no, no, no. Now it's now you're you're completely correct. Like you couldn't get me to go out to a club or bar. Well, I can go to bars, but I couldn't. I don't party anymore. Out of respect to my marriage. <laughs> oh, Sorry, can't. When I was twenty, dude. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what, uh, Factor, as far as DOA 5, I, I don't know. I just never, I just knew it was not ever going to take off. It's just. Is it, is it already dead? Yeah. It was It was DOA, actually. <laughs> you know, but, uh, and it's it's not that it's a horrendous game. It's just not, it's, uh, I don't know. It's, it's It makes the randomness in MK look freaking intentional. You know, so I mean, it's 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 got you know any game where I could be pounding on you, and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm losing energy for no reason. Something not right with that. You know, so I mean, it's 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 got a little too much randomness from what I've seen. Um, but uh, you know, it's I don't know. I mean, Tekken's Tekken. What was the turnout for Tekken? Uh, turnout for Tekken was 64, and it was 48 seasons beatings. I think I think Tekken's biggest problem is I mean, the Tekken community does not want to admit the game has a ten year legacy curve. I mean, it's it's a problem. Even I mean, but some Tekken players will admit it. And America also has a big problem at MLG events with Tekken because you have these Koreans coming over here that've had the game for two years. And but I mean, still shouts to Anakin from Atlanta getting third in Tekken. And he's had the game for what three four months, and Korea's had it for two years. So. Yeah, but see, hit like you know, I mean, once again, my my hating on MLG. It, it's not MK. You know, they fly the Korean players out. You know, it's like, you know, how come they didn't fly you there? Wait, wait who didn't who didn't fly? Wait, who didn't? What are you talking about? I, I missed that. I, I'm talking about like JCDR, whatever his name is. You know, the top Korean players got flown out buy MLG to compete. So it's like, we're going to fly you out, we're going to put you in a competition to make money. I got I got flown out for free just because I won that online tournament. But you earned it at the yeah, end of the day. I, 
Yeah, they I, didn't I just it. call you up and say, "Hey, pig, you know, we got MLG Dallas no, coming out." No, they would never do that. No, but they, they might do, do that. that for, they might do that for Junior or Rio or something. No, they they, they shouldn't do that for any players. Well, it's, I agree. I you agree. know, but that's you know, to me, that's like, it's almost like stacking your your brackets. Yeah, but I don't like taking free rides. That's why I gave like five, six people like free place to stay, so if I can help someone else out. You know, and that's and that's one of the things where, like, you know, you, you got players like the dude that you just mentioned, uh, Anakin. You know, yeah, he paid his own way there. Absolutely. You know, and he did actually. That, that, that's why Clint couldn't come uh, to MLG because he had to drop some serious money on his car, like the day the passes went on sale or the last day they went on sale or something like that. So he just couldn't come. So. You know, and Napalm, you know, I understand what you're saying about more stream, more numbers, but their numbers, that, you know, their, their their revenue is coming not from the players, but it's coming from the advertisement, and it's coming from the advertise. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I use a fucking Mach 3 Razor. Yeah, I don't use Bic Flex, you know, and, you know, I don't drink Dr. Pepper, and the commercials, you know, whether it's at MLG or on TV... I mean, how many people can actually sit there and say that, you know, commercials influence you that much? You know, that I, I understand the millions, as Triforce says, that watch it. Um, you know, I don't think it, it, it affects them that much. I could see, you know, controllers, you know, stuff that's more related mm -hmm. to a gamer. Like, I'm surprised they didn't grab Mountain Dew. That's yeah. like a gamer's soda, you yeah. know, or Red Bull. Yeah, that's true. I mean, isn't Dr. Pepper prune soda? I don't know. I love Dr. Pepper. So oh, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm all over Dr. Pepper. What, you got your MLG sunglasses on right now, too? No, I don't. Those are my MLG sunglasses. Actually, I have a, I have a reason why I wore those glasses. It just wasn't It wasn't for any bullshit reason. I just felt like I needed to do something. Yeah. Is the BenQ thing true? Yes. Uh, no, yes. Yeah, true. They, were, they were not BenQ monitors. They were Asus monitors that we all love and play on with BenQ stickers on the back. Basically, this is how all the monitors were set up. You know, they had all the setups. On the back of the monitor, it had this, you know, the, this sticker that said BenQ on it. And on the front of it, you know, on Asus monitors, at the bottom of the thing, it says Asus, right? Yeah. On all the monitors that they had, they covered the Asus with black tape. So they were still showcasing BenQ even though they weren't BenQ monitors. I mean, to be that's, honest, that's I'd rather I, to be honest, I'd rather change the subject cuz I don't want to yeah, you know, I mean, I understand, you know, how my hatred supposedly for MLG is so deep, but you know, only because you know, it, it is something that without knowing fully, I mean, I listen to people in the forum say how, you know, maybe they made some kind of deal. There is no fucking deal for that. Nobody in their right mind would say, oh, yeah, it's okay, just do that. So, I mean, let's just, uh, hey, uh, Derp Tile, give your dog something to eat. He looks like he's fucking malnourished. Give him a, a biscuit I mean, or something. It, yeah, it, I mean, I don't have hate for MLG either, but if it was a deal that they were doing, they wouldn't cover up Aces. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I, I, I kind of look at it like this. This might be just kind of... I'm not. I'm not ignoring it. This False advertisement. Ignoring. No, the way I, the way I look at it is, I know it's an Asus monitor. I'm happier it's an Asus monitor. It's probably not my business. I'm just going to enjoy the tournament. <laughs> yeah, but my thing is this, and and this is where if they're willing to do that to a sponsor, what are they willing to do to us eventually? You know, uh, at, at what point? And Maybe BenQ asked. They said Asus is better than us. Yeah. Just put our sticker you on know, it. Imagine that. <laughs> You know, I mean, what's it's, the, it's what's the it's, hype about the BenQs? I don't get it because they're LED it's just, or something. It's just their sponsor. That's it's the it's the mon. It's basically, in a nutshell, I think it's the monitor that they turned around and gave offered them the best package, and they said, "Let's get, let's grab it." Well, like somebody like uh, Crumb, he wants to buy a monitor, and people were telling him to get the BenQ. They say get the you know people say get the BenQ because that's what MLG was using. You know, there's a millisecond, you know, lag between uh, an Asus and a, and a BenQ. It's not like it's, you know, oh, 100 millisecond I, I, I lag. I was told they have the same, if you put the settings right, they have the same lag, except the BenQs and LED, so the colors are better. But if you just have to set the BenQs so they don't lag, and it'd be the same as the Asus. 
You know, so even that'll tell you. That's it, you know, just saying that. I mean, it, it becomes a preference issue. You know, I mean, I got, I got Asus, you know, but I don't use monitors. You know, but it's, I mean, it's, it's, like I said, it's, it's nothing against them and, you know, I don't want to expose anything. I mean, I'm sure they're not sitting listening to this right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, well, you never know if I pissed off Adam. MLG Illuminati. Yeah. Adam, Adam stalking me again. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and it's funny because, you know, I, I really don't have nothing against them per se as far as MLG. My issue is I just don't want to see them gut a community like they've done to every other community. What makes you think ours is going to be different? You know, and it, 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 everything starts out with good numbers, and eventually it winds up, you know, falling apart as time goes on. You know, and, and like I said, if they want to, ah, there you go, you fucking, give your dog something to eat. Um, you know, if you, uh, if you look at the way it's structured, I think MLG structures the tournament great. I think the, the, the production value is great. You know, I mean, the streaming, the, the hopefully getting, you know, into, you know, they, they tried to get into the Mads in and they tried to get into the gross because, you know, they're international players. Because let's be realistic, we don't have international players except for the Canadians, you know, and maybe I think, didn't somebody from Mexico come up? Did somebody from Mexico come up in the tournament? Oh, yeah, uh, from Mexico, yeah, Costner. He's from Costner. Mexico. Yeah, so, I mean, so you had Costner, you had uh, Zaffinger, um, then you had Gross, and then you had uh, Madsen. Madsen. And, it's, yeah. and it's like, you know, you look at the the scene as a whole, mm -hmm. you know, as, as, as MK, and it's not, you know, there was how many Koreans in Tekken Tag 2? You know, there's a, good, there's a good bit. Yeah, so I mean, we don't have international. Um, where's my gravy, Gay Gay? Well, oh, oh, fucking limbo dog. Well, we, we actually, I mean, I think I think we do pretty good international players. We had you know EU come out from EVO, and we had three players come out this. Well, no, we had more than three international players come out. We had you know, if you count Canada, I mean, I kind of consider the Canada as kind of kind of with us in USA. Yeah. And um, but you know, we had like four Canadians. I think we had. Uh, I think two Mexican players, two two Mexican players, um, uh, Dominican Republic Gross, yeah, and Matson. By the way, Gross was awesome. I had the most fun playing the Smoke Kinchy matchup with him. Like we were like, okay, let's go to bed. And I was like, oh, Gross, we haven't played yet, so we played for like three thirty until six a.m. <laughs> we played like seven first to fives, Smoke versus Kinchy. I, rec I recorded most of them, and I'm gonna I'm gonna post them on TYM. And they all ended like this. I got to three first, but he got to five first. Everyone ended five four. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. He's really good, man. No, it was crazy. It was like two two, then I'd go three two, then he'd go five four, and then I teared so much about Smoke and Kenshi. I, I was like tearing. I was TYM and stats updating. I was blowing up American Smokes. And I was like, oh, now I feel bad because actually American Smokes are actually good. It's just gross. It's like blowing me up in this matchup. It's, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. So I'm going to post the videos just for like learning purposes. So you could say you know the matchup now. No, I know the matchup now. <laughs> I feel really good about it now. But like we started out, I think the first game was like, it seemed like every series started 2-0. And I was like, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. And now I have to. The more patient I'd play, the better I'd get. And I don't know. I'll post the matches. And just check them out. Lozy Lou, I rooted for you the whole time, even though when you when you were playing Claude, I was torn. But it's always OBS, man. So don't worry. You got fans out there. Yeah, I, I wanted Lozy Lou to do well too. I I played some casuals with. I did Kung Lao versus Cabal for a while. Uh, Friday. Yeah, Friday before the tournament. But he's good, man. He's real good. Yeah, he's leveled up a lot. You know, a lot of guys, you know, you know like I said, it, it's it's all a matter of playing. You know, the more you play, the better you get. I mean, that's, the, you know, I understand the whole dexterity and this and that, but reality is this. He who puts in the most time ends up on the stage. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, some old fucks like me, you know, I got like, 
I don't know, one, two hours a month to play the game. So, you know, when I go to these tournaments, I don't have no delusion of being top anything. But I still go because I'm saying, fuck it. You know what? It's MK. And at the end of the day, it ain't. I mean, I can't sit there and say I'm going to jump on the injustice bandwagon because you know what? It ain't MK to me. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's 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 injustice, which, you know, when in, when the DC thing came out, I thought that was ass. Yeah. You know, I, was like, I, I mean, like I said on last week's episode, I don't even vibe with the DC characters. I think DC sucked. I mean, the TV, the Super Friends show was cool in the 70s. But, you know, I mean, fucking, I mean, I, you know who I'm going to use? If they give me my Aquaman <laughs> and they give him, but they give me, you give me the Trident version, yeah. you know, with the hand removed and looking all fucking like fucking, uh, like fucking Captain Ahab and shit like that, then I might get into it. But, you know, I see these characters, you know, like fucking, you know, Batman and Robin and Superman. I'm like, you know, the flash, it just seems like it's a better looking version uh, of of the the DC without removing you know by removing the uh, the MK characters, you know the flashy punching a guy through thirty floors and dragging him around the planet up into space. You know it's a nice touch. I think it's gonna be really good. You know I mean we'll have to see. Yeah, I mean it's uh, I I'm definitely I'm not saying it's gonna be bad, but you know to me it's like I guess it, it to me it, it's equivalent to uh, me playing Tekken. You know, yeah, it's, it's just it's a, it's a totally separate entity from MK. That's why when I see like you know Test Jemai and MKU kind of like yeah man we're gonna we're gonna do this I'm like but you guys are MK sites. Yeah, you I know? mean the reason why I'm looking into injustice there's a couple of reasons. Um, one, I'm hearing the uh, I'm hearing injustice plays a lot like MK, so that's always a plus for me. Yeah. Um, two, I've been a diehard. MK fans since day one, but I'm also an NRS fan, and I do want to, you know, I support the games that they make. It, the game could be a total bomb, but I know I'm going to buy it just because I want them to, you know, I want them to stay in business. I want yeah. them, I want them to take the money that they make from this and put it towards MK10. Yeah, but you also got to, you know, I mean, not to say it's going to be bad, but would you buy the game if it was shit? I would buy it the day it comes out before I would know. See, that's, you know, that's like, you know, to me, it's like, you know, I support Mercedes, but if you give me a fucking, you know, a, a $120,000 car and put in a fucking straight six engine from 1975, I'm not going to be a happy motherfucker, but I'm going to be stuck with it. Yeah. And by supporting it to a degree and giving, you know, it's a, it's a catch-22. By giving people the the illusion that the game is good... And encouraging others to buy it, in the end, kind of hurts them also, you know, because if they turn around and they say, look, six million copies of this game sold, you know, out of the six million copies, five million and change were for casual players, you know, uh, another 700,000 of them were grandma bought it for their little five-year-old kid thinking it was, you know, just something to play. And then there's another 200,000 people that went out and bought it because it's a competitive game. You know, so you got to look at it, and when you break it down, you got to say, are you helping or hurting? Because once they see that number, they go, oh, it's a success. You That's know, true. I mean, a also, I'm, like I'm buying the, the game. I'm buying the game because I, I, I'm a strong believer that I think the game's going to be good. That's why I'm going to be getting it day one. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, though, like, you know, you know I understand, like, you're saying you support NRS. I mean, I do, too. You know, but yeah. at the same time, I would, you know, I would hope, you know, that obviously they, you know, and I talk to these guys all the time, so I know the game is coming out good, you know, but uh, they, uh, you know, my thing is, you know, the whole sell in, sell through, the whole marketing aspect of it, if it doesn't sell well, now what? You know, what if just the, the tournament, you know, it's hypothetical here, what if the tournament players were the only ones that bought it? You, you, you know my dad he's been getting into video games and I sh uh, showed him Injustice and he was like this is retarded I was like why he goes there's no way the Flash could compete with Superman <laughs> he's like you he's just right. punch him in the face and that'd be it it'd be done it's all about mitzvah play Flash man. is just fast 
It's all about so, Mitzvah Plick. Nobody even knows who the hell he is. Mitzvah Plick from the fifth dimension. All he's got to do is type on his typewriter and whatever he types happens. So you could be like, you know what? Superman's made of kryptonite. Done. He's dead. All right, what do we got? Where are you? Why does he always, you know, this fucking guy. Jugs, why do you got to have a fucking asinine name? Can't you have something simple? Why do people put dots in circles? Here you go. Jeez. There you go. Um... You know, but, I mean, like I said, I'm not trying to begrudge the game at all. I mean, I hope it comes out well. I just personally haven't seen a character yet that I'm like, ah, oh, cool, I got to get it because of him. Yeah, that's yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah Superman, I'm, 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 Superman yeah. I'm like, all right, let's see, Superman can freeze. Superman can shoot red laser. He could probably do a flying dash. I think Superman should be just be a boss. I guess. I mean, and then you're going to get Lex Luthor in a fucking robot suit. Um, you're going to get the Joker, you know, shooting, squirting flowers in a gun, in a gun that goes bang and, you know, Nightwing on the motorcycle. I mean, th it's a cool, the supers look cool, but you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it, it kind of, it kind of makes me think like, like with the x-rays, you know, x-rays, you know, don't get utilized in MK as much as. I like to use them. I mean, I'm in Brady mode. You know, I like to end the round if I can with the x-ray. Yeah. You know, but, you know, I mean, I watch people manage their meters so much, they never do an x-ray, you know, for a whole tournament, they never do it. I'm like, yo, I got to get one at least once, especially when I was using Baraka. I'm like, yo, I got to get it at least once so I can knock out at least half his energy. You know, so, I mean, once those things happen, are they going to be utilized or is that going to be like, you know, once again, going into the meter management? You know, and that's that's where you got to look at it and go, you know, that's basically going to make and break it. But, I mean, from what J360 was saying, you know, you know, hopefully, you know, there, there is some broken combos already. But, you know, it's early on. You know, did you see him play Cyborg? Yeah. Pretty tight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <coughs> no, Bill, I'm not saying boycott NRS. I'm just saying the meter management thing, you know. People don't use the move, so it's kind of like, would you want it removed and have them put more effort into the gameplay to save space? I mean, because some of those animations aren't, you know, these aren't, you know, one second animations. This is, you know, a whole big fucking FMV knocking a guy up into space, pulling your dick out, pissing on him and swinging him back to the fucking planet. You know, for all that that happens, it's a lot of animations and everything. It uses memory, where you could say, you know what, we can focus on the meter management for a breaker, some enhanced moves, and focus more on the gameplay. Do you think Tom Brady was still uses supers like he uses X-rays? I think so. Yeah. Well, you also have to think, you know, That's why we need it. is it is it just as uh, is it just as easy to build meter in injustice that it is in MK? See that, that I don't a lot know. Harder, that I don't know. By a lot easier. That's another thing. The only thing that I really don't like so far, and I don't know too much about it, is the um, is the clash system. I really, really, really don't like that idea. Yeah. At I'm all. Not, I'm not crazy about it, but I mean, I I could deal with the clash system. You know, I could. I mean, like I said, I can't. I until I sit and have my hands on with it, I can't really bash it. Yeah. You know? Weren't they talking about getting rid of the clash system? Yeah, they were talking about it a little bit ago. I don't know where they stand on it now though because that was a while ago then again you know there it's a while until the game actually comes out i just hope they rather revamp it or just get rid of the fucking thing i mean you, you know and the thing is it's kind of like you got to look at it when they put the effort into building the class system you know the 200 offline tournament players that are out there in the in the the test your might and mku and whatnot mk community you know, you got to look at it and they're going to go, hey, you know what? I, we understand that 200 people might not like it, but we're looking to sell to 2 million people. And is it something that the casual player will appreciate? And that's going to be a factor when they make it. Casual episode. online players, aka scrubs, they x ray all the time. Yeah. Because they like how it looks. Scorpions. All my oh scorpions are x ray. <laughs> I still, I always get hit by that shit, too. I get annoyed at fatalities. It's like, here you are a year and a half later. You haven't, you know, why are you doing a fatality? 
I want to play the next match. Or know? they teabag and then do the fatality. I do a fatality just to increase my opponent's rage meter. Very true. It works. I'll tell you that. It usually works. Then just do about 90% of the time you don't get uh, through the full fatality. They'll probably leave before. <laughs> yeah, I know, Bill. I had to. Every once in a while, I'll do a fatality. I think I teabagged you in fatality, Jeff. So I admit, I, I, I quit on fatality sometimes. I don't want to see them. <laughs> no, I, I, you know what? I, I could say this. I've never quit. I've never quit. I mean, Dude. they already won. It's not really quitting. You know, no, it's quitting. Let them, it know, is quitting. You let them have their moment of glory. You know, I mean, look... Tobias just said today that fucking, you know, the whole point of babalities was to, to, to bring that level of salt up, you know, but, uh, you know, like I said, at this point now, when you're playing somebody that, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, oh shit, what is that? It's definitely seeing the fatalities getting done online now. You're just kind of like, Why? You know, it's, I mean, unless, you know, unless, unless, like I said, you know, they're, they're trying to, like, like Jug said, to piss you off. I really yeah. think that uh, Injustice should have, like, friendships and babalities. The only, I think babalities might be able to be thrown in there. You <laughs> know what? Awesome. I don't think, that, you know what? It's all an issue of Marvel. I mean, uh, DC. At, at the yeah. end of the day, it's them approving it. I mean, like, just like they turned fate, the, the, the fatalities off on them. You, you know? think they would have a problem with, like, Turning all their characters into babies. Yeah. Really? They, listen. Maybe they could do. Maybe it won't even be like babies. They could do somewhere it's like humiliating, like a humiliation yeah. or something like that. Yeah, like a friendship. Like a Roman yeah. helmet. <laughs> they could. I mean, they they could kind of have fun with it. You know, they could do you know, whatever. Like I said, you know, from you know, from my experience. They, uh, you know, you get a lot of these guys, it's, it's like any artist, you know, if somebody turned around and, you know, put a mustache on the Mona Lisa, you know, people are going to be like, yo, what the fuck? But I think it's all <laughs> artistic, you know, um, but now it's the same premise with these guys. Like I said, with the Simpsons, you know, I mean, Mac Groening is so ego filled. Every character has his fucking initials done on, on the body just so you can know it's his character. Yeah. You know, and, and same thing with uh, comic book guys. They're very into the, like, well, you know, you can't do this to Superman because in the Superman universe, that would never happen. You know, I mean, then you could always reference back to, uh, what was it, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, and be like, come on, you had fucking Richard Pryor in a movie. <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, they're very picky about how things happen and, you know, what can be done to the carry. That's why the whole, you know... In, in the D.C., nobody was killing each other. They were like, no, right away. I can guarantee you, you know, fact, they had the fatalities being done. And then they said no. You know, even when we worked on MK1, you know, Boone and Tobias, you know, were picky when Nintendo told us we had to take the fatalities out. You know, they were like, you can't, you know, you can't take out that fatality, you know. You can't take out the head rip with Sub-Zero, that's like the whole signature MK thing. Yeah. You know, so you had to come up with new fatalities. You know, so I mean, it's, I don't know, like I said, I'm not, I'm, my, my opinion for it is, is still open. You know, I, I gotta sit, hopefully they get a, a, a beta version out there that uh, is testable. You know, but, uh, I mean, I'm supposed to go to Chicago, I was supposed to go to Chicago like 10 times already, but I had to cancel. So, I mean, when I go out there, hopefully I can get my hands on it for a little while. Right, right. I'm just waiting for them to announce uh, Martian Manhunter. That's, like, the only thing I'm worried about. Like, once they announce him, like, I'm good. I'm getting it, 100%. Yeah, I mean, I don't, like I said, I mean, I don't know. I don't even, like, I, I can't even figure out what character. I mean, I keep saying Mitzelplik, but... I mean, I don't know what the whole character. I, you know, nobody's made me say, nobody's made me say, "Wow, I want to, I got to get this yet." You know, and the other thing is, I want to know if they're gonna stop, if they're gonna drop a couple of, uh, because being a DC and, and and NRS are both owned by Warner Brothers, it might be a little bit easier for them to drop some MK guys in there, which would be kind of cool. I, I bet you I they have put a feeling Raiden. They will. 
Raiden's a god. No, nah, I have a feeling they're going to drop somebody in there. Yeah, they got it. Predictions? Predictions? Tremor. Oh, they Tremor. Cyber so. I don't... <laughs> definitely not. No, I think they're going to do Tremor, I bet you. They're going to do something like Tremor. You know, because they did him in the Vita version just as a, as a joke. And, you know, it, it'll be something, you know, something loosely based. It's not going to be like tying Raiden into the storyline or nothing. It's just going to be a DLC with some, you know, quick bullshitty endings. I mean, they might do a couple of them. But, uh, you know, they could also expand, obviously. You know, I hear everybody say, like, Martian Man on this one, this one, this one. You got to remember, you know, in the world of DLCs now, it could be anybody. Yeah, that's true. You know, so, I mean, it may not come out right away, but if enough people bitch about it, you know, you, you, you'll probably get them. But I can't see them not putting him in there because he is a, a big yeah. name for yeah he's a big name for DC. You know I don't know who else they could do though. You know that's not in yet. You know what's his name Deathstroke or is it Deathstroke? What's the guy that's that's like Deathstroke in DC? Is it Deathstroke in DC? No, hey. uh, oh, can't think of his name. Deadpool. 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 I mean I mean obviously Deadpool are gonna have to be in there. No, Marvel. Thought, Deadpool's yeah, Marvel. Deadpool oh, is Marvel. Deadpool's Marvel. Deathstroke, Deathstroke is, yeah. Is, uh, Deathstroke, yeah. yeah. MKDC. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you're going to see him. Uh, yeah. did, did Lobo never went to, to DC, you, right? You, you you saw Eboon's tweet about a pos the possible girl character is one of three. What did I he say? I remember Batgirl, Supergirl, and I can't remember the other Doctor one. Doctor Supergirl. They, they were hinting at Lobo. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe I, I can find the tweet. Ago. Where's my phone? Oh, Don't do Supergirl. That'd be dumb as shit. Dude, Lobo should be in there. Definitely. Bizarro. Lobo would be good. Bizarro. Uh, I'm trying to think who else they could actually put in there that would be villain-wise. You know, what are you going to do? Scarecrow is going to throw straw at you? I mean, Two-Face is going to throw coins at you? I mean, see, a lot <laughs> of it... Two-Face would have a gun. Yeah, but... Uh, Yo, okay. Mr. Freeze. Come on. Mr. Freeze would be decent. You know, but now what version of Mr. Freeze? What version of Mr. Freeze do you go with? Do you go with the fucking overweight Schwarzenegger version, or do you go with the the seventies comic animated series or version. animated series version? The, the only those I can think of are like Batman villains. <laughs> Two good characters for injustice to me, at least in my opinion, is a uh, Poison Ivy. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Um, yeah. Pretty sweet character, and then I think they need to have Bane in there personally. Bane should be there, especially you know, especially with the movie that came out. The and, huge Bane, you know. Yeah. But the problem with Bane is they already got Solomon in there, so you already got the Zangief bad guy. Why can't they yeah, but him? they said they were gonna have you know gadget characters and then power characters, so they can just make Bane another power character, but in his own way. Yeah, but I, I would think you know what they're probably gonna do fucking Shazam as a as a power character for good. Because you can't, have, I mean, how many power characters can you really do? Because I'm telling you now, they're not going to release, like, MK32 characters. Yeah. You know, they're not looking to do that. And I can guarantee you on MK10, you're not going to see that either. Um, I, I guarantee you what you're going to see is you're going to see, I'd say, mm -hmm. between 10 and 15 characters and then downloadable shit. Because that's just the way it's going. Wait, for Injustice? No, for MK10. Oh, for MK10, I mean, and yeah, it's, it's way gonna... too early, but that's possible. I don't see them doing more than like 24. I won't even. I bet you. I'm. I'm I, I'll. I'll bet money on it. Like I said, 10 to 15 to start, and they're gonna focus more on the gameplay and fix the shit that everybody obviously. I, I wouldn't mind it if they did. All right, let me uh, let me throw a commercial up here while I'm uh, doing my thing. Wait, did you guys see this tweet? What tweet? From Ed Boon, Warner Brothers confirms Mortal Kombat reboot. What? It was written because I was like, wait a second, maybe this is old. But he just tweeted it out. November 6, 2012, in one of the more likely reboots of recent years, Warner Brothers has confirmed that Mortal Kombat will be getting a makeover with a new adaption of classic video game set into development. What? So, I don't know. Check out his Twitter. Maybe I'm missing something. It says November 2nd. <coughs> Warner executive confirmed that a new Mortal Kombat film is in the pipeline while also really in kind of budget the project we're working with. All right, shut the fuck up. Okay, VXG, guys. Come uh, July, 
Destination to St. Martin. They, uh, another great fucking tournament that should be uh, pretty phenomenal. I mean, the, the betting, I just love the fact that I could bet on people against the, uh, against the casino. I mean, I could be like, yo, Big D's going to fucking make it to top eight. What's the fucking odds? And they're going to actually put odds on players, which is going to be kind of cool. Um, and then instead of you paying me out, the casino pays me out. Um, the free booze, because by then I'll be able to fucking drink to my heart's content again. Um, the free booze anywhere on the island you go is kick-ass too. You know, um, and obviously the fact that, you know, it'll be MK there. And by then it'll probably be Injustice as well.